beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed if you have not been blessed you are not born again because that means your spirit no 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 no. it's not an insult i'm just saying your spirit does not have the capacity to receive that's what the bible says the natural man cannot if um as detailed as we have been you still have not gotten a spiritual logic to what we are saying then you or you may be born again but you are completely not interested in growth this can also affect reception I am amazed at how careless people are over their spiritual growth it's costly to believe everyone wants to grow there are people who are absolutely okay where they are and um, anything that can stimulate great uh, growth is a nuisance to their spiritual life you're not part of these people in Jesus name last week we were looking at the dynamics of faith right and we started from this scripture we saw a few things please those of you who do not have the message you can get it you must get it it says who against hope did what and i explained to us last week that that those three words who against hope means in the presence of obstacles please listen in the presence of prevailing circumstances and i told us that it is not unusual to have challenges and obstacles in fact the starting point of faith is the presence of an obstacle are we together most people act in the presence of obstacles as though something strange had happened to them it was the apostle who said that when we face temptations and persecutions we should not approach it as though something strange had happened to us are we together so you have to educate your mind to change your perspective as far as viewing challenges are concerned now listen the presence of challenges does not mean god is not with you i think i have to say that are we together so that you do not feel guilty i love god i'm serving god why is this sickness in my body you know Excuse me i love god why is this and that mountain standing before me the bible says abraham who against hope no evidence everything spoke against the word of god in his life now the issue is not the obstacle the issue is an understanding that it can change are we together now yeah and i shared with us i've said it again and again that every challenge comes in its magnified form you have to know this i don't care what it is every challenge in a man's life comes in its magnified form nothing is as bad as it initially looks when you sustain an ability to look beyond the mountain and then 
you believe so abraham he had all kinds of physical and biological evidences but the bible says who against hope what did he do believed in hope uh -huh, that he might become the father of nations at the time he was believing he was not yet in the physical are we together now study the operation of faith here who against hope believed in hope that he might become so you believe to become you don't become then you now be no 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 as many as believed him even to them that received him he gave them power to become power to become the power to become is tied in your believing not the mountain your believing are we together now that he might become the father of many nations according to that which was spoken remember we discussed last week that your believing must be based on the word of god there is no other platform that gives you a guarantee to believe now understand this you can act on many words you can act on the word of a herbalist that's not faith are we together now you can act on the word of your conscience you can act in response to fear faith is only predicated on the word of god that is understood believed and acted upon if the word of god is not the platform upon which your believing is built it cannot be faith are we together now so that you are believing something that you are believing a report the bible says whose report that means there are many the medical report is a report the pain in your body is a report but it says whose report will you believe hallelujah and we shared a few other very powerful things how that faith starts with revelation remember and then through understanding you attain onto a position of conviction conviction persuasion it says but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded persuasion is restful confidence you come to a point where you are you are at peace about a certain thing god has said you're not moving all around trying to doubt him restful confidence and then we spoke about action action is what gives the whole process the name faith without action it stops at belief are we together now faith and believing are not the same thing believing is part of the process of manifesting faith but until you act out what you believe it is not faith please i think you need to get this this is where many people miss it we claim we believe so many things but the point of action is the proof that you believe and we discussed a few action steps that we take the speaking of the word it could be giving it could be a prophetic act it could be you know whatever it is um you can get it tonight i want to just build on what we shared last week and help us to understand a few things and um we're looking at the subtopic faith boosters um there are certain things we need to add to our faith work to concretize our results are we together faith is the foundation but there are other principles that we can add to faith to accelerate our result either make it faster make it consistent make it firmer to strengthen our hands and guarantee that the result will be produced and we're going to look at a few of them hallelujah everyone say god is a good god please shout it god is a good god um i want to tell you something before we start to talk about faith boosters you see knowing the will of god listen please knowing the will of god is very important in your manifesting faith most people are unable to manifest faith because they are in doubt are we together if you know that if you walk up to me right now and ask me for a thousand naira i have told you that i will give you will you be afraid of coming to approach me your confidence is based on an assurance i gave you whether spoken directly to you or documented so it is important to take out time and search through scriptures find out the provisions that have been made available for the believer in christ are we together when you are born again you come into an inheritance it is 
by grace but it is through faith and it is important for you to know the things that are given to you right the bible says according as his divine power hath given us all things listen that pertain unto life and godliness but it comes through the knowledge of him that has called us what mm. to glory and virtue right then the next verse says wherefore hath he given us this great and exceeding uh, precious promises that by them we might be the partakers of his divine nature is that true haven't escaped the corruption that is in this world through loss so the bible is very clear that it is the desire of god the bible says that he daily loads us with benefits he daily loads us with benefits if you do not know it is the will of god for you to prosper you will feel guilty for learning the laws of wealth if you do not know it is the will of god for you to be healed and to be whole right and to not walk in sickness you will never be able to make claims so it is important that we establish the fact that this god is a good god the goodness of god is an attribute of his glory it's a revelation of his benevolence his willingness to bless us the bible says he that did not spare his only son but offered him up for us how much more with him shall he give us freely all things to enjoy are we together i can guarantee you it is god's will for you to experience the fullness of the essence of the life of god now we don't serve god because of those results we don't serve god for money we don't serve god for children we don't serve god for jobs and all of that however at a point in your christian experience god has arranged these things to be consolations to you the same way if i come to a jimmy's house i didn't come to eat are we together i didn't come to his house to eat however if i come to his house and i sit down and the wife serves me something i should enjoy it it's part of their benevolence it's part of the package for hospitality are we together now so we love god for who he is we love god enough for what jesus christ has done however he has designed a system where we not only manage our way in this life please i like you to factor it in your equation of the kingdom life that there is a provision where you can access a life of blessing there is a provision whereby the grace of god you can rise to a point where you you find consolations to your christian experience it can be warfare all through your life are we together it can be starvation all through your life it can be sickness all through your life there is already a provision at a point in your life you should be able to celebrate god and say bless the lord oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name right bless the lord oh my soul and forget not his benefits benefits number one who forgives your sins number two who heals your body there are many benefits the bible calls them the fruits of salvation are we together faith boosters let's look at a few of them number one the first um key that you need to add to your faith haven't discovered that this is how faith works number one is patience write it down the faith the first faith booster you must add to your faith so it can carry you until the word of god is made manifest when you order a product if you order this speaker say from uk or china when you pay for it they send you something to your mail right a receipt to certify that you've paid for it and this is yours but sometimes they will tell you to allow for two to three weeks right for shipping they have to ship it down to lagos clay that and then korea people will now bring it to the door of your house but right from when it was there in the store it was already yours are we together let me tell you the truth i wish everything in the kingdom will come speedily some things for whatever reason take time and you will need to add to your faith patience say patience is there anything too hard for me to do 
I am that I am Is there anything Too hard for me to do I am that I am Hallelujah I think this is where many of us get cheated Because we do not have access Listen To seeing the things that happen in the spirit While we have prayed are we together now you have prayed is four months but you've not taken in so you believe that because there is no medical report to show that it was not answered are we together receive that boost that sustaining power you now go to a herbalist because you now say god the thing about faith is the law is so strict when you break it it will start again are you getting the point now oh yes you start again after wasting your time then the devil just comes in and you see satan has mastered man listen listen satan has an advantage of age i hope you know he's been here before every one of us so he has seen the vulnerability of men evolve through civilization he knows our humanity he will use the sensory realm because the realm of the flesh is satan's domain listen that's why when you walk in the flesh you can never walk by faith because the realm of the senses is where satan exists he has mastered using your eyes using your perception using the things you hear to change your conviction he is a master at that are we together the bible says there is therefore now no condemnation romans 8 verse 1 to them which are in christ jesus who walk not after the flesh right but after the spirit who walk not after the flesh because the bible says to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace to be carnally minded doesn't mean to be immoral to be carnally minded means to be ruled by your senses the 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 platform upon which your conviction is built your perceptions but you know the doctor told me look at it the doctor said it that i will never be pregnant again sensory perception who against hope against that report believed god now you know there is this there is this false sense of maturity in the body of christ where people claim they are too mature to believe the word of god or to be childlike at believing god if you are too mature to be a child before god forget about signs and wonders the miraculous are for those who have childlike faith who can say god this is your word if i perish i perish are we together some of us have this motivated false sense of maturity look look we are not children here we know you are sick we know you are sick you are going to die and we act as though no 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 i'm not ready to just speak like a child the bible says except you become like one of these little children you will never experience the fullness of the kingdom so don't listen to what i'm saying and just say are you not enjoying apostle that's why you are saying it no sir no sir it takes faith it takes faith to change things patience patience is a powerful virtue in the spirit what is patience the quality of staying through the quality of staying through the quality of staying through i like the way king james puts it he calls it long suffering everybody say long suffering the word suffering there is not going through hell the word suffering there is like long permission the word suffer in scripture is the word permit hallelujah I, I can't remember where I was talking. I think I was talking to, uh, I can't remember, some gentlemen were at my place and I was talking to them. The way spiritual things work, eh? Five minutes to your breakthrough, it will still look like you are in hell. You know in the physical, you can know that something is getting close. Sometimes it's not so in the realm of the spirit. Five minutes to your breakthrough, you will still feel like nothing is happening. That's why you must walk by faith. Joseph, that he was only 24 hours away from being a prime minister. 24 hours. By the world system, he would have come out of that prison to somewhere else. So he can now know that, wow, I'm rising. 
but in the realm of the spirit no sir it will happen overnight you just wake up and find out that things have changed but the waiting process please hear me i know what i'm saying the waiting process is the test of spiritual maturity every man that comes to you god says he's not the one now you're ever afraid of asking him <laughs> but god says wait and you are saying oh god will he ever come he will come home. and the day you see him you will know that he was worth the wait but you can choose to negotiate your way and patch something and cry for the rest of your life and say if only i waited two more months i waited 12 years the last two months is it not painful have you seen people run relay someone from round one or marathon from round one he falls down they keep him somewhere and then someone the last round falls down too they keep them at the same place that's what is so painful with life so you didn't do anything grace to finish through in the name of jesus christ grace to finish through there are many of you you've been holding on to the word of god you are almost there you are almost there your spirit tells you something is about to happen but you are about to give up on god now because of some foolish sensory things listen beware of the sense realm beware of the sense realm is satan's realm of existence to a point that you sit down and start asking yourself let me tell you what satan would do he would direct your eyes to one nonsense that was written by one journalist all these journalists that write against men of god he will now write and say can you see them they leave the poor and the hungry and they are buying nice cars nice watches nice this they are not nice people so your unbelief and your fear now collapse with that information and it gives you a legal platform to disbelieve god so you cheat yourself say i'm a believer shout it i'm a believer, I'm a believer. who against all hope against hope believe don't give up on God cause he won't give up on you he said faith with patience faith with patience faith with patience is powerful the first boost power of your faith is patience you know how long abraham waited 25 years it takes time for the word of god to produce but brothers and sisters when it produces when a woman is pregnant listen when she goes to the hospital and they say madam congratulations you are two weeks pregnant her stomach can still be as flat as an arrow but she's pregnant is that true she believes that report and she's happy about it and then gradually in an annoying way the child starts growing gradually with all the side effects that comes two months ago she knows she must wait at a point she can tell her husband my husband i'm tired but you know that patience is not a choice if you want that baby are we together you can wait when you give birth to a baby at five months what happened was that a baby are we together a woman does not say see i'm tired this is five months go and bring out this baby i can't wait she endures sometimes even when the edd has passed she will, the baby will still take plus one week or two weeks are we together and she will still be trusting god but when the baby arrives visitors will start coming they come all the money they give is to you but it's on account of that baby do you not know that your waiting is business itself uh, you will be paid for waiting that baby is the light that the bible says will arise oh you will be paid for waiting because the people who are paying you would rather pay you and receive it they can't wait as long as you are waiting because you went through hell they can't go through it so they will be forced to honor your grace god designed the system that way they can't buy you they can criticize you but if they must get that dimension they must honor your grace so please i like you to say my waiting is not a waste shout it 
her waiting is not a waste listen successful people are those who continued when failure stopped i don't watch movies but there's this film that will never leave my mind lord of the rings you know I mean? lord of the rings there's that short guy what's his name no 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 he has a friend thank you Sam is the most inspiring person for me in that film there was a time if you've not watched it don't worry just believe what i'm saying are we together the gentleman who was the ring bearer was the only one authorized by prophecy to hold the ring point he was and then the friend said something he said i may not be able to carry the ring but i can carry you come on now come on now i don't watch movie for entertainment i watch movie for prophecy prophetic messages that are in line with the word of god I may not be able to carry the ring but I can carry you I can carry you I can carry you force your body to speak that to your spirit I don't know the blessing but I will keep carrying the spirit Hi until the result comes all the days of my appointed time brothers and sisters the Bible says surely there is an end everybody say it surely there is an end. over that pain surely there is an end they went through fire they went through hell when you see us stand and talk sometimes you think we are bragging no sir it is testimony that is nice the process is painful when a woman stands and says for 15 years i had 20 miscarriages but now god gave me triplets at once somebody said what's the big deal those are the kind of people who will never receive anything from God 15 years of insult 15 years of being called a man as a woman 15 years of being threatened that they will marry another wife yet she stood she, she bought her doll baby at the fifth year she bought the clothes by faith hoping the child will come and she was disappointed in ministry in business when you see a successful person young or old respect their tears respect their pain it is only when you have the light that people come are we together there are times in this journey of faith you will have to walk alone because others will say we warn you that's not the way and you choose to walk in it ah, but when you hold that light when you hold that light then the gentiles come to your light i'm encouraging someone already it will come to pass mm. that's one of my best my best scriptures in the bible it never comes to stay it comes to pass chronos it must pass mm. who is like him lion and the lamb seated on the floor i just feel god is really encouraging someone mountains bow down every ocean roll to the lord of lords listen let them laugh at you you are not the first to be laughed at are you hearing what i'm saying the bible says as soon as zion travels it is here as soon as zion rejoices you will have to cry it's not unbelief and that yes patience and say lord i may be crying but i wait upon you i'm holding on to the horns of the altar i know my god will show up okay, if you laugh at me i would have laughed at myself if i were you but the word of god my god the word of god has the power of resurrection they have learned they now know what to do with challenges mm my spirit is fired up someone needs to be patient someone needs to be patient wait i will never forget years ago at new extension here i was invited that time they didn't used to invite me i was anointed i was still very anointed i will never forget i prayed and fasted for three days I had to go out in the rain no protocol to help me but there was prophecy upon my life brothers and sisters if you forget anything don't forget that there is a prophetic word I know there's no money in your pocket but there is something upon your life listen 
I want you to educate yourself tonight of rising above what people say if you want to be great if they were successful they would not have time to talk about you I guarantee you they are talking about you is a sign to you they are not going anywhere patience can you wait for that child can you wait for prosperity or you are ready to cut corners <laughs> whatever God cannot give me let it not come home mm. whatever God cannot give me let it not come there are some of you here those who have laughed at you will come and ask you they will soon come and confess and say please tell me how it's happening I laughed because I was frustrated not because I hated you I have wondered how you are doing it sit down let's hurry up faith booster number one patience number two the second key you need to boost your faith is tapping into the power of agreement write it down the second faith booster is the mystery of agreement open your spirit to hear what i'm about to teach you now hmm. matthew 18 from verse 18 to 20 jesus speaking help us please matthew 18 it says verily i say unto you what you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever you shall lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven so he's talking about receiving results next verse that if two of you listen jesus is teaching us a mystery in the spirit that there are certain dimensions that are only activated when there are at least two people there are certain realities in the spirit that cannot be established until there is a witness that if two of you shall agree on earth listen in how many things as talking with anything he didn't say if two of you shall pray listen understand what the bible is saying you went to school if two of you shall do what <sighs> shall agree what does it mean to agree because this was reiterated in amos 2 right can two walk together except they i will share with you something that will change your life forever right now the power of agreement there is a spiritual force that is released in the realm of the spirit listen when you can find come when you can find someone to genuinely believe with you that what listen i can pray with you and not believe what i'm praying i have not agreed it didn't say if any two shall be a witness to agree means i believe in my spirit that what you are believing god for is doable and i i don't just bring my mouth i bring my heart and my faith as touching where is it anything I believe oh you want triplets and i'm here with my own belief i'm not a good agreer you can pray and i say oh god and while you are praying in the name of jesus lord thank you for a maker his wife must carry triplets this year and i'm there say amen do i agree no let me tell you how you know people don't agree they will leave you and go to somebody and say ah triplets you want to kill your wife you see let me tell you that person does not agree with you and that's what we do many of us christians we run to people who sometimes you even know their faith level cannot receive what you are agreeing with listen to agree with you means similar convictions concerning that matter i know god can give me a job of five hundred thousand, and the person said let's pray and then you tell him brother pray for us he said lord what is it that you cannot do we thank you so much he's afraid to mention the issue directly because you know have you seen people like that 
Lord, we give you all the praise. One thing we know about you is that your will prevails over all. He's praying about your issue. You clearly said what the issue is. And hear how the person is driving around. And Father, we give you the praise. In all things be glorified. Amen. You didn't pray for me. I don't agree with you. That thing is not agreement. If any two shall agree as touching, as touching, Lord, this person needs to build a house this year. I'm agreeing. I know it is possible. Four months is too much for a house to be built. Lord, I agree with him. Right now, he has only 100,000 and the budget is 7 million. Lord, I release my faith genuinely. The Bible says, if you can find a man, if it was easy, the Bible will not. It says, if I say to you, if for any reason you can find a man, brothers and sisters, it's not as easy as we make it look. Is finding somebody whose convictions will be similar to yours to agree on an issue. I know that we just say in church, okay, let's agree with one another. And of course, there's a place for that. But the context of this scripture is one who genuinely, let me show you two people who did that in scripture. The moment Mary, the Holy Ghost spoke to Mary, Mary said, how shall these things be? she needed another woman who has had to believe god for impossible things and so god referred her to someone to agree with her as soon as they met where they praying the baby left that's agreement that's agreement there are people the moment you see them the atmosphere of faith around them will make you to go and adjust what you were praying for the other part you cancel you go and write it back and say what made me cancel it our society is full of foolish friends fraternities that are not profitable spiritually kawana abokina and they are not going anywhere leave do not ever make anybody your closest friend who does not agree with you love is a command association is not all these cultural fraternities we keep dragging to our lives people who have mastered the art of killing our faith you can't share your dreams in their presence because you know they are about to laugh at you. God told me that I'm going to have a conglomerate. It's a big business. And the person laughs at you and says, you, how are you saying, how, as you are hearing yourself, how are you? Now, they, you may laugh, but leave that person and never share that kind of thing. The mistake Joseph made was he shared his dream with people who did not agree with him. He suffered 12 years for it. Thank you. Thank you. The power of agreement. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9. Let's hurry up. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9. When you can find someone who agrees with you, there is a force that is released in the realm of the spirit. The Bible says, read it, please, everyone. One to read. Two are better than one. Why? Because they have a good reward for their labor. There is a reason why two are better than one. I pray for you may the person who agrees with you be your spouse because listen if you're a married person and you have to look for someone outside of your spouse you are ready to pour water it's like pouring water on fire every day every day how many spouses don't agree with their husbands the man speaks a word of faith she goes back and discusses it with people and say look at this this foolish no wonder he's the way he is very stupid man honestly i don't know what made me kite i was deceived let me just agree that i've been cheated that's a wife talking about her husband do you agree with him i guarantee you many things will go wrong in that house you don't agree Th that's part of the blessings of marriage you should never marry somebody you don't agree with figure eight figure whatever macho tall dark and handsome all that is nonsense if the person does not agree with you you marry the person you are going to punish yourself and punish your destiny say amen, amen. you see let me tell you you can laugh all you can let me carry my bible you see there is a way listen everybody listen when the bible talks of agreement god is not stupid do you know why he made a wife you think it's just for children are we together 
there were some things Adam could not have done if Eve did not come reproduction is just one is the obvious one do you know let's not we're not doing marriage seminar agreement the Bible says two are better than one because they have a good reward if you want to experience uh, your life working against this scripture I hand it over to you but I advise you I advise you never I don't know why I'm talking about this marriage thing now please ask yourself the person who is going to go and see your father with you now don't say does he love me it's not a wise question does he agree with me you are praying in tongues the person is not praying in tongues he's just keeping quiet he's about to stop you it's because a ring has not entered his hand the other day you fasted he kept quiet you came for koinonia he, uh, he acted as if he's happy he's busy watching you you are you are seeing lack of agreement right before your eyes and you are still going you don't need any prophecy you're already in trouble he comes to drop you for koinonia and then goes away after the grace you come and wait somewhere there don't you know there's a spirit making him do it you are marrying that spirit too i hope you are aware that's how believers cheat themselves we cheat ourselves because we disobey these simple principles of scripture i want you to edit the association of your friends do it this night do it this night i know what is stopping some of us because i'm about to talk about association briefly fear of being criticized for some of us who are used to it we it's like butter on bread there's even nothing to say again we have mastered the art of riding above criticisms you have to learn this if the closest people in your life don't agree with you you are in trouble wrong associations if you want your faith to rise you need to create in your life a kingdom community of like-minded god-minded people never forget this creating a kingdom community of like-minded believers is the key to sustaining kingdom values creating a kingdom community of like-minded believers it matters that you are surrounded by a community of men and women whose spiritual perception and convictions are similar to yours it will shield you and it will help you when you fall out it's easy for you to come because there is a community are we together now if you are the greatest prayer warrior in your group you're already in trouble because the day you don't pray every other person is depending on you you see what that means when we talk about community life all those who have been part of this ministry for at least seven eight years will tell you the reason why many people's spiritual lives have risen is the power of community kingdom community it is on grounds of this that i recommend social media platforms i'm not a fan of social media because it's it's, it's, uh, it's largely all junk there it has made the world a psychological world where people don't have you know their their, their emotions are are like rubber they can't stand firm and make decisions everybody's business is everybody's business but it can be harnessed properly are we together everybody say kingdom community, kingdom community. shout it kingdom community, kingdom community. we're discussing with Ejimi today he went to escort me to get fuel and we we're just talking with him and i was sharing with him something and i was telling him how that this it is important to be associated with people who you are comfortable practicing what you know to be your christian experience in their midst there are places you are there you want to pray in tongues you must trek as if you are going to buy food then you get to one bush you look you shout ah you don't hear anything then you now turn <laughs> You think that's a good association yet you you call all those people your best friends they come and see you studying and they love holy mary they, they are not they are not good friends they may not be bad but i can assure you they are not going with you where you need to go you have to change
show me your christian community including pastors including men of god show me the kingdom community you have allowed to find expression in your life i will know it by the songs in your phone i will know it by the messages you listen to i will know it by your commitment i will know it by the gist you, the, your talk and everything around pray in one minute and say father please bring to my life all the relevant people who have what it takes to support my faith work lift your voice and pray in one minute lord i i realize i need friends some of you is just occurring to you right now for the first time that you honestly do not have friends to you about it and you've not taken it serious you really do not have anybody you can call your friend hallelujah second corinthians chapter 6 please 14 to 15 let's hurry up second corinthians chapter 6 14 to 15 kingdom association listen let me give you one big advice jesus himself was teaching the disciples a powerful principle of kingdom advance this is what he said he said when you enter a strange city it is a start preaching the first thing you need to do is what look for a house where there is a man of peace peace was an ancient word it's called shalom it doesn't just mean somebody who doesn't make trouble peace there means somebody who is open to receive what you represent and what you are bringing it says if you find any remain there let your blessings rest there so as a as a copper when they post you somewhere the key is not to start going around and say man i'm so happy i can't believe i'm enjoying liberty like this no you are wrong the first thing is to start scouting where do we have people in this city who pray that's a spiritual man not where is chicken republic not where is a lounge take what i'm saying seriously and you begin to pray by yourself and say father you have to connect me you have to connect me you have to connect me somebody will just call you and ah you are in this town just come and two of you will meet yourself and know oh, what a breath of fresh air you will blast in tongues for three hours help yourselves and the next time you will be thinking god is not doing anything in that city until you just find a group of five rugged people who there is always representatives in every city that you have not seen it is it's only because you are not passionate enough they may not have a name for any ministry they are just young people who love god you find them and connect with them they will help your life within your stay in that place and if there is none god will begin to move you it doesn't mean you have to name it the name of your ministry just people who come around oh god give me a small room so that we can have that in two days you have gotten a room these are the, there are prayers see there are prayers that god answers fast any prayer that responds to thy kingdom come you are getting god's answer at once Lord, more space and all of a sudden you'll be praying and you'll just hear somebody will knock and say sorry are you pastor so 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 and he said no no i'm just sorry he said sorry they led me here who they did that's ah if you don't walk by faith you will not know how the holy spirit works one woman will start coming i've taught you the mystery of women when women start coming to your meeting women are gates in the spirit it means something is about to be born it's a sign write it use it any day to walk anything you are doing you don't see women um let me assure you that there is trouble read your bible i'm teaching you spiritual intelligence the first person to herald the resurrection was a woman women are gates in the spirit they signify the birthing of something new the woman will now come she may not even be filled with the holy spirit you're already praying are you seeing that now she will tell you she has two people staying in her house she will drag them the next time from your door they get filled with the holy spirit god is already working by the end of your stay in that place you have over 200 people praying you bless them hand it over to a pastor or inaugurate something there the kingdom has come 
but the key is to search if you don't find any create one it is god's idea that in every territory there must be platforms that represent center for kingdom activities there must be platforms erected whether as ministries or just as prophetic platforms they could be seasonal or they could be there permanently but god find a space in every territory are we together kingdom community he says but be ye not what unequally yoked with who with unbelievers he said for what fellowship has righteousness with unrighteousness and what communion has light with darkness 15 and what concord had christ with belial or what path had he that believeth with an infidel the infidel there is not just talking about a non-christian no he's talking about somebody who you do not agree please i want to encourage you you see eh? some of you in koinonia here god has brought precious friends to you hold them you will need them someone who is your friend when you don't have any money he drank gary together no matter how much you have that person is a worthy friend they don't have to be perfect those looking for perfect friends i guarantee you they are not around they don't exist you are not even one of them are we together now the idea is not perfection substitute perfection with sincerity of heart surround yourself man of god this may be a word for you there is nobody to help you there is nobody to share your pain there are people here when you are going through pain there's nobody to share your pain with you you sit alone and die alone god is helping us in jesus name the bible says in psalm 1 blessed is the man who does not stand in the way of sinners nor sit in the seat of the scornful and so on and so forth he says his delight the man is not a wicked man the man is not a sinner the man is not any of those things but he's walking with them he's walking with them eventually he will become them listen when lot chose a land remember lot and abraham when they started quarreling lot the bible says lot settled near sodom everybody say near sodom he never entered sodom he settled near sodom when abraham came to rescue him where did he find him in the heart of sodom all you need to do is stay near a smoker after one week the smoke will not enjoy you again you are growing until a day will come you do <laughs> you do smoking competition you say you finish one cigarette don't open your mouth use your nose you have graduated to be a pro shout help me jesus the third faith booster are you getting blessed the third faith booster is the power of praying in tongues the power of praying in the spirit the power of praying in the spirit the third faith booster jude 1 verse 20 just one chapter jude 1 verse 20 but ye beloved look up please but ye beloved building up yourselves on your most holy faith how do you do that pray in the holy ghost pray in the spirit pray in the spirit pray in the spirit the baptism of the holy spirit is not a pentecostal phenomenon it's been wrongly communicated by well-meaning people who love god it's been largely misunderstood and i know that there are all kinds of careless things especially for people in the charismatic circle however an exaggeration of something does not remove the fact that it is there are we together it is very important you build up your most holy faith listen there is capacity to believe god that is built as you engage praying in the spirit for many of us our prayer are just need driven angry prayers that are largely amiss are we together first corinthians 14 please help us media first corinthians 14 from verse 2 to 4 
I'm interested in verse 4, but let's look at verse 2. 1 Corinthians 14. 1 Corinthians, not Samuel. 1 Corinthians, help us please. First Corinthians verse 2 for he that speaketh in an unknown tongue does what? speaketh not unto men there's already a teaching on that now please let me just say this praying in tongues listen and the gift of diverse kinds of tongues are not the same don't let anyone confuse you are we together the gift of diverse kinds of tongues is prophecy in an unknown language it is given for public edification and it's not for everyone but the prayer language of praying in tongues the bible says for he that speaketh in an unknown tongue speaketh not unto men right but unto god for no man understanded him how be it in the spirit he does what he speaketh nonsense. Is that what the Bible says he speaks? It may sound like nonsense, but the Bible says in the spirit he speaks what? In the physical it sounds like nonsense, but in the spirit he speaks mysteries. Verse 4. Verse 4. He that speaketh in an unknown tongue does what? Edifieth himself, not his congregation. So there is a place of spiritual growth we're praying in the holy ghost i know you are praying but what are you saying praying in the spirit is what i call distilled prayers you know like you say distilled water the purest form of prayer praying in the spirit why for the bible says no man it says that um we 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 do not know how to pray as we ought to right but the spirit itself make it intercession for us I know you are filled with the holy spirit but are you utilizing the presence of the holy spirit and the blessings of praying in the spirit that he has brought that's why every time people get born again we always recommend when the ministry was not very big then i used to do it myself we'll all do it just get people filled with the holy spirit listen believers hear me it is important that after someone gives his life to christ he will pass through the experience of the baptism of the Holy Spirit with evidence of praying in tongues. If the person was not taught that way, politely teach the person. Even if you have not exercised your faith and your, your, the grace of God upon your life to minister to the person, lead the person to the place where he will be ministered to. Forget about whatever mindset they have. Don't worry. Just lead them there. In Koinonia here, we have a very robust prayer department now. You know, I'm, I'm all busy and I don't have all that time to minister to people again. But the prayer department, there is a special prayer meeting dedicated for the infilling of the Holy Spirit. And what glorious testimonies have come from that. Many people here have been filled with the Holy Spirit from those experiences. Please, if you are here and you are not filled with the Holy Spirit, you are not praying in tongues, I want you to know that you are missing out on something. I don't care whatever theology you have been given something is wrong something is wrong are we together now don't insult your pastor don't condemn your church whatever it is but i am telling you you are shortchanging yourself there is a dimension of growth and power and faith and spiritual development you will never be able to access and for those of us who god has granted us grace with the anointing contribute in getting people filled with the holy spirit don't just hold prayer meetings and pray and people fall down and stand up and go let people be filled with the holy spirit amen praying in the spirit brothers and sisters i cannot begin to describe to you how spiritual you become when you pray in the spirit bring a weak person we have seen in this ministry weak people weak people people as weak as whatever promise come let me use you for an, for instance i hope you don't mind i always love using him he shared his testimony this guy came into zaria with earrings and dreadlocks this is the assistant head of prayer for a great ministry like koinonia 
Are we together? But I can tell you his addiction for God is contagious. And God has given him speed. His life is moving at the speed of faith. That's why today when he ministers to you, you see the power of the Holy Spirit through his life. Oh no. No matter how weak you are, the Spirit of God. The cure for weakness is not, thank you, thank you. It's not getting angry with people. The cure for weakness is engaging in the Spirit. Let me tell you, no matter how timid you are, I give you a recipe. Oh, you see, you, you don't know my problem. I came from a background where, you know, everybody didn't believe in me. You are not alone. We all came from the same background. But you, you pray your way out of that nonsense in the spirit. I have seen people who could not even look at the face of another person. You think it's easy for ministers to just stand and hold the mic? No one is born with that grace. But this is what you receive when you pray in the spirit capacity to believe God you don't just pray when you have problems and you are praying and say hey, go God I'm now praying no you better be hearing me no make it a culture you are walking on the road you don't have to just close the door you are walking you don't have to be shouting and disturbing everybody you are moving around you are just praying I'm teaching you a secret you turn on your bed in the night some of you you turn in the night and you speak nonsense because that's the content of your spirit you only make sense when you are wide awake do you know if you have to be awake to make sense you are not spiritual because your body is only a material i'm telling you this have you seen people who went to the bed of surgery and while they were operating on them they were not in their consciousness they were praying in tongues others were prophesying that's the content in their spirit are we together some of you you sleep with someone you turn in the night they don't come you get up in the morning and swear and deny you never said it that's in our family you change it your spirit is like a machine you can program it blessed in the name of the lord you see these little children you are seeing all these are our little children the content in their spirit is faith and faith only i watch them while we pray everybody run to their parents if they see no attention they find something to do themselves and they are touching themselves and praying and this child is there doing her own aaron's child is doing it to me they are all jamming themselves and all others they are joining in what they are doing let me tell you what they are doing they are programming their spirit the moment their faculties can express it you will marvel and wonder you will see that the prophetic these children begin to prophesy and you're saying when was it built it's not when was it built there was nothing else that was there that's why if you like marry an unbeliever that you, you will produce children with double values double standards you are speaking jesus another person is speaking culture you know when we say these things people think we're just i will keep drumming it because i want you to get it right In Koinonia, there's zero tolerance for marrying a non-believer. Not even a non-believer, an unserious person. There are clear indices. I don't know why I've been coming here and talking about this thing this night. Ladies, let me give you a formula. Any man that is not under authority is a dangerous man. Hmm. Any man that nobody can talk to. You can't say, Jimmy, why did you do this? Sit down. No. That's how he will beat you and lock the door and put the key in his pocket. Because he doesn't respect authority. For now, he can buy you things. But don't be deceived. Men can be absolutely deceitful. I'm a man. I know what I'm telling you. Get what I'm telling you. Men can be absolutely deceitful. Buying you cake is not love. No. Sending you recharge card is not love. Are we together? You must be very serious. You don't have to say yes. Just ask them to come and see me. Just hand them, just tell them, I think you need to see Apostle. If he runs away, that's your deliverance. Straight up, let me assure you. If he runs away, don't cry. 
just say lord i thank you you see i've been asking you to help me now you have done it again i don't know any home i say this with every sense of sincerity we have a lot of wedding cards there are two more i'm going to announce you see me with wedding cards and i can tell you by god's grace there is a track record of marriages that work in koinonia you see marriages here they work there is a science to peace it's not just about praying in tongues you know that you will not disagree on certain yeah, there can be little disagreements here and there but as far as the foundational truths about god no sir you've got that covered may that happen to you Amen. may that happen to you don't sit down you go and you're doing a relationship like occultism you alone you are just doing your thing the guy is deceiving you and then you just come and bring a letter and say you are marrying no matter who and what you marry will be there but the remaining part of it i guarantee you you are the one who will be there please be determined one of the greatest decisions you can make today as you are hearing me speak is that even if i failed in every area i must force this thing to work and i'm telling you if your faith says yes god will not say no the god of heaven make it work praying in the spirit praying in the spirit two more and then we'll wrap up for tonight the third faith booster is praying in the spirit the fourth is the power of praise and thanksgiving now pay attention because what i'm about to tell you is very powerful it's a key that very few believers especially pentecostals and charismatics understand this key very well many of us especially conservatives and orthodox do not know the power of praise and thanksgiving we call praise and thanksgiving a nuisance but it's a key and i want to show you what it does i want to show you the role it plays in the manifestation of results in your life write this down prayer and thanksgiving are the keys that control the manifestation the manifestation call them the postmen that bring your your the answers of your prayer the way bill man that brings your is praise and thanksgiving call me a praise and thanksgiving your faith can buy the phone but I guarantee you it is through the vehicle of praise and thanksgiving. Are we together? Jeremiah 30 verse 19. Jeremiah 30 verse 19. We are going to look at a few scriptures very quickly. Jeremiah 30 verse 19. And then we we'll look at Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 and 7. Jeremiah 30 verse 19. Listen. Listen. And they will not be small why because out of them shall proceed thanksgiving thanksgiving is a indication of faith hmm. you don't just thank god for what has manifested you thank god to make it manifest you are good and your mercy is forever hallelujah You would and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. The key to delivering the answers to your prayer, the key to delivering it, making it manifest, is thanksgiving. Philippians chapter 4, please, quickly, 6 and 7 doesn't mean you should be careless with your life God will not do that the word careful there is the word anxious anxious it says let your request be known unto God using this formula receive from God using this formula thank you Jesus it's a powerful thing to say Lord I thank you Lord I thank you sometimes you just need after you have prayed and fasted and done everything praise and thanksgiving ah praise awaits thee oh god in zion praise and thanksgiving has turned around the lives of people i wrote something down here that i want you to write praise and thanksgiving 
guarantees the manifestation of your desire praise and thanksgiving guarantees the manifestation of your desire john 11 41 we're reading to 44 john 11 let's see what jesus did at the grave of lazarus see in fact before we go to john 41 please give us mark 11 mark 11 let's look at 23 and 24 jesus taught something that is very instructive look at this the character of faith with thanksgiving let's look at mark okay verily verily i say unto you that whosoever shall say to this mountain 24 jesus is talking to us now therefore i say unto you what things soever ye desire it says when ye pray do what Believe that thou receivest it unto you, and thou shalt have it. Are you seeing there? So there's an interplay of two words: receive and have. What things soever ye desire, when we pray, believe that what you have received, and then you will, you will. Having is in the future, but even is immediate. You receive by faith to have it you receive it Kabbalah Tabaya so the Bible says as many as received him their lives may not look like they have him but they have received him and with time their lives must demonstrate the mystery of godliness God in a man John eleven forty one to 44 Jesus is standing at the grave, the grave of Lazarus John 11 please quickly 41 then they took away from the place where the dead was laid and jesus listen jesus told the father he said father i thank thee that thou heard me how many times have you seen jesus giving thanks in the midst of challenges remember when he was multiplying five loaves and two fish the same thing he lifted it to heavens and he said he gave thanks the bible says and he told the guys go and distribute it next verse which stand by i said it that thou may believe that thou hast sent me then 43 and when he had thus spoken he cried out with a loud voice lazarus come forth now watch this you would call jesus you would say jesus does not have faith why will you still call lazarus forth when you have said thank you i've had a lot of teachings well-meaning teachings that make it look like when you pray and pray emphatically you don't have faith no sir no sir persistent prayer is accurately recommended from scripture there is a place of persistent prayer elijah did it the bible uses his story in james 5 to give us a portrait of a life of prayer 44 and he that was there did what came forth thanksgiving so when you are thanking God it's not because the miracle has manifested but that you know that you are giving room for it to find expression say in the name of Jesus a thief a blessing a provision from scripture for my life and I declare that I will live a life of thanksgiving and praise hallelujah the Lord led me to speak on something when I was writing this and the Lord told me something I, I will write it exactly as he told me he said teach your people to jealously guard their joy write it down teach your people to jealously guard their joy Isaiah please verse 3 joy joy plays a big role in the manifestation of miracles in our lives i want you to read it if you're a christian of salvation so it likens salvation to wells there's healing there's prosperity are we together now joy when two people are fighting the first thing that disappears is laughter joy joy is of the holy ghost there is difference between joy and happiness 
if i give you money you'll be happy joy is of the spirit it's not tied to circumstances it's an activity of the spirit like eternal life that is at work in a believer it says rejoice jealously guard your joy joy killers there are naysayers there are sadists there are bad talkers listen please hold on let me say something that is very striking you see social media is part of what we were talking with edgy this morning social media your mobile device whatever gadget you have if you are not careful it will add to destroy your joy and your peace are you getting what i'm saying now yeah because we live in a world where the whole world is a global village anybody can say nonsense when he or she wants to say whatever and destroy your joy you have a responsibility to guard your joy you don't have to read everything they post on newspaper are you hearing what i'm saying you don't have to read every text that comes to your phone it's not compulsory hmm. you don't have to go for every meeting and every program joy killers there are people who destroy your joy you get up in the morning the moment you hear them your whole day is dampened their dreams are bad dreams their talk is bad talk their prophecy is bad prophecy there is nothing communicated to you that can minister life that's not of the spirit hallelujah somebody had been disturbing me one time i think two years ago you know he had been saying he has a prophetic word for me i said what is all this one day? why send it now he said no 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 god said he must see me and so when i now he now came and saw me and the guy was just warning me he said god said i told him i said get out of this place please if that's what you want i'm i'm very open to hearing the word of god but this thing you are talking is absolute nonsense please leave this place god is not somebody in your pocket that you keep and bring out when you want to just, just leave this place with all that, that nonsense. You know, there are people who believe if prophecy is not negative, it's not powerful. So they derive the power from the negativism. They, when it reacts to emotion with fear, they say, that's right. This is conviction. No. 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 Prophecy is for edification, for reproof, for comfort. Are we together? You must guard your joy. Brothers and sisters, listen right now there are many things happening in this nation that can destroy your joy all you need to do is put on your news for 10 minutes and almost everything irritates you you hear that someone is killing this person pick your newspaper they are lambasting a man of god they are doing this and that they are lambasting the president buhari and his wife they are lambasting this they are lambasting that you now turn to the paper and then the person who is writing it and all kinds of things you will destroy yourself if you keep yourself in that atmosphere ask anybody who knows me i part of my assignment is to design my environment with things that keep me motivated and joyful you whenever you come to my environment the environment forces you regardless of what your mindset is you instantly subscribe to the protocol of that environment i plan to live a very long life see there are people who you see somebody you think is 50 you say how old are you, you say i just clocked 27 and you are wondering so what is wrong say ah, why when you have you ever sponsored yourself and you see people wrinkled and angry stand in the morning tomorrow saturday people are supposed to be rested just stand in the morning and see how angry people are an angry conductor talking to an angry driver opening their door angry passengers matters now early in the morning no good morning this is the kind of society i'm not mocking them i'm saying joy is a scam commodity in our world a pastor comes to climb the stage with his anger things didn't work well at home he just a simple message from god you lash it down everybody knows you are angry and it has nothing to do with your preaching say i will remain joyful say it i'll remain joyful there are men of God who are angry 
because people write all kinds of things about them a pastor once called me and he said um a senior man of god he respected in his area was teaching in their you know like the, their church and spoke about him and said all these boys etc blah 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 just tore him down and he said apostle but you know uh, this is not how my life is and i looked at him i laughed i said how many years have you been in ministry and he said two years i said that's why there is a way this thing is like a shoe there's a way you wear it that your leg becomes the same temperature with the shoe it no longer can hurt you it's when you remove it and give somebody you wear it and say ah that's what you've been wearing you say that's how i live it's not that it comes once in a while ah may god give you grace to sit on that fire and laugh <laughs> i want to be a man of god there are many people who want to be pastors they think all there is to ministry is just sitting in front and then your first one year you receive a bitter shock nobody in your environment likes you and you are saying god this was not the baguette god, just continue god knows how to motivate you mm. joy there is nothing in this life hear me that is and i've gone through many things in my life but there is nothing in this life that has the capacity of stealing my joy no that I wake up in the night, I can't sleep, I just sit down. And he said, Apostle, what's wrong? I said, Kai, life. <laughs> Is it funny? It's like you are mocking me. No, no. Live a life of joy. I know there's no money in your pocket, but you cannot carry your heart on your face. Every point is wrong with you. Joy. You see people frowning in society. Hold my hands. Just see someone moving. I wanted to, I intended holding a lady back to send her. <laughs> sorry, sorry. This husband and wife, oh, watch this. Husband and wife. On the way, are we going? Just follow me. You are going to a shop. Eh, uh, Oga, please give something. Which one are you? And this, ah, bros. Please, please. Ah, you are not my counselor. Don't, don't talk to that. This is my. Ah. Brothers, may you never be that kind of husband. <laughs> Hallelujah. You are driving, you are angry. You are angry till you almost want to die. And then the devil knows how to make things go bad. You will make somebody want to hit you, you just bring your hand like this. You are, you are broken, you leave this, is, and then you turn back. And you are hearing Koinonia message. <laughs> to respond to life I will not react I will respond to respond means you are in charge of what you want to do to react means what happened to you will force you to do things you do not want no sir if you look at me right now and you hate me like many people do all around i mean it would be stupid to imagine everybody loves me there are people who hate me just like you i mean i mean just like they hate you too not that you hate me i know you love me but i'm saying just like they hate you oh all around they hate us all we're talking about a man of god i read an article that was tearing a man of god who i would say if you put a number one man of god in this nation he has the cleanest record ever and somebody was tearing him. I just told Ejimi this morning. I said, there's no survival for anybody. We're all going to go through that thing. If this man can be criticized. Just for working in miracles, you are in trouble. Do you know that? Yeah. I watch people. Not you. But I watch people as we travel around. When miracles become extreme. You see the people looking. They now become uncomfortable. Why, which ministry did you say this guy is? <laughs> <laughs> I've got joy like a river, joy like a river, joy like a river in my soul. I've got joy like a river, joy like a river, joy like a river. 
Joy like a river, joy like a river. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody called me this morning from the east. He's getting married on Saturday and the money is not enough. And the guy called me shaking, angry, and saying, Look, that he has released his faith, he sowed seed. And I told him, I said, My brother, you are going to marry. Take it easy. See, let me tell you, when Satan tries to take the whole world to put on your head, refuse, reject it and stand on it. Your head is too small to carry the whole world. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't act as if the whole world is on you. Do you run? I know, relax. Your worry, the Bible says, which of you by worrying can add a cubit, a cubit. Worry does not help anything, but it destroys everything. Pressure, number one, be calm. Number two, involve God. Number three, settle down and receive wisdom and strategy. Say, I reject worry. Please, brothers and sisters, don't think I don't know what I'm saying. I do. Reject worry. Men will throw it at you. Reject it. It will come as house rent. Reject it. It will come as no money for food. Reject it. If people want to come and in a bit to sympathize with you, they want to massage that worry and put it in diplomatically through it out. Casting all your cares upon him. Why? For he cares. Hallelujah. Psalm 67 verse 5. Let the people praise thee, O God. Psalm 67 verse 5. We're rounding up. Let the people praise thee, O God. Psalm 67 let the people praise thee O god let the people praise thee let the people praise thee when you read down it tells you that the earth shall yield its increase right it says then shall the earth yield her increase our god will bless us the earth will only yield her increase when the people praise see it is in this one thing that every religion on earth agrees that there is a negative energy that is released from you when there is no joy is that true that's the cause of depression if you ever if anybody ever tells you i have high blood pressure tell them it's a lie you know when people tell me how is the burden of ministry i say burden i'm one of the most privileged man of god in this city and around this place lovely workers lovely people people who love me and believe in me i mean what more can i ask for i'm a happy man don't ever let anybody join you in anger say kai i'm angry you too abi say no i'm not angry. i'm not angry there's this song i'm acknowledging you for sing it for me for what you've done in my life Acknowledging you for who you are, that's how you end, that's how you end. I'm acknowledging you for who you are, for what you've done, in my life. I'm acknowledging you for who you are, that's how you end, that's how you end. Listen, let me give you a secret. You may not have paid attention to it. 80% of the things you worry about never happen. Go back and check yourself. Check the track records. Something always happens. But the worry kills you. There's a story I read a few, um, um, some, some years ago about Ambrobas who came to a place and the man and his wife, uh, you know, two of them were lying and she tapped him. He was doing as if he was sleeping. They were real Ambrobas and, you know, tapping him, the man, honey, you know, get up. I expect you to do something. You are the man, you are the priest of the home. And the man tried to act as if he was sleeping. She insisted that he wake up. And when he woke up, do you know, because of the fear, the woman took courage and she got her. She was shouting, praying, you know, saying, blood of Jesus, shouting. Eventually, the Ambrobas left because the house was well secured. Do you know when she came back, the man had died? True story. Was it a gunshot that killed him? Fear is a spirit. Worry is a spirit. 
depression is a spirit anger is a spirit all these things are spirit the bible tells us that spirits search for human bodies don't let them land on your own i choose to be happy i choose to be joyful i'm a very joyful person if you're a joyful person you are my friend if you're not a joyful person i love you we're part of god's big family but you are not part of my immediate family i assure you i cannot tolerate joyless people honestly that's why when people are talking if you are crying out of pain i understand i'm human but where we now say okay calm down a word has come from god you are still crying no 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 relax god's word has come there are people here there's a family here they are here to see me they lost their child are they here where are they this family you see seated right now they lost you lost your child they lost their child can you imagine they came all the way they've been trying to see me so when i say joy you've not lost anything you didn't lose your finger you didn't lose your head yes and they are pastors your pastors right they are ministers of the gospel loving god and so you see the word is comforting them and yet they came still believing in god for some people this is the last time they will come to church may may you love god to a point that nothing that happens in your life good or bad will ever steal your joy the bible says what shall separate us from the love of god it may not always be rosy but i guarantee you you can choose to be joyful that you say yes i rejoice lord i expected you to show up in a way but you did not show up but i still give you thanks the carryover will not come lord 10 people testified that their carryovers were waived why did my own stay in it i still give you thanks it will cost me one extra session but lord i know that you are a master at converting wasted opportunities to a blessing therefore i know you are up to something instead of complaining say lord i hand over my extra year take it as a sacrifice and use it that's how you buy time hallelujah the last of the faith boosters and then we'll pray is the bond of perfectness the bond of perfection love galatians 5 verse 6 the last of the faith boosters galatians chapter 5 verse 6 I want us to read it together it says for in jesus christ neither circumcision availed anything nor uncircumcision uh-huh read it now by love when the love of god love here is twofold listen love towards god and love towards men it can be love towards god alone are we together and it can be love towards men alone it must be love towards god and love towards men there are so many sad loveless believers they love God but there's no iota of love you can easily know somebody who does not have love their lives they are like sadists they don't rejoice at the lifting of anybody oh he just became a medical doctor and eh, was there was there medical doctor then what that give me salary in this wicked nigeria you don't have love see let me tell you when someone's success is not worth celebrating it's a sign that something is wrong with your love life jealousy bitterness all these attributes are derivatives of a life that is void of love are we together i really love people that's one of i think is one of the most powerful gifts that god gave to me in fact my name means the way to love beautiful name name your child that the way to love yeah instead of all these nonsense names people give children that bring curses on people you name a child stubborn you name a child idiot whether it is tribal idiot or english idiot it's still the same thing you give children names that are both scriptural and very sound the way to love jesus said this 
by this shall all men know that ye are my disciples not when you pray in tongues not when you preach well not when you work miracles not when you have money not when you have a crowd love love i want to ask you a very serious question number one do you love jesus don't say yes just listen do you love jesus number two do you love men do you love men can you actually come come tabitha can you actually look at this lady and say i love you some of us if you say i love you the person you are saying i love you to will run away because your i love you is poisonous and self-centered and not genuine i love you means i want your money i love you means i want something from you are we together listen let me tell you the love life of a believer is a powerful key is the key to health is the key to longevity is the key to freshness spiritually biologically let me tell you something god taught me you know I, I've, I've shared it here please give us that scripture first corinthians 13 there it says um love never fails look for it love never fails love never fails when the bible tells you want to work with something that does not fail there are many things that fail the banking system can fail are we together the educational system can fail the employment system can fail here is a formula that god gives you have you found it ah. love never fails yes that's it the word charity is love okay it says love never fails say it after me love never fails that means anything i want to do i can make it fail proof by adding love like an antivirus are we together now i know what i'm saying you may not have put the principles but when you are about to fail love because there is love there love never fails all this gossip around bad biting around contributing to tearing people around sitting down in groups bringing the cases and the stories of people men of god pastors tearing people down fathers mothers all of those kinds of things they are expressions of hate let me tell you who loses in the end you you i want you to make up your mind today that the love life will be the template of your living it's a beautiful thing to love people when i stand and talk to people i'm going to be talking to people after the service i'm going to be doing ask the workers listen listen you can ask every leader in this house i love them they will tell you i love them not just because of the blessings not just because i i genuinely love them if you are a worker in this house and you have not experienced the love in this house you are not a true worker when i hear that any of our people are down whether or not i'm around somebody is there the, the spirit of love is where the anointing flows from don't use people let me give you a secret don't use people to make money don't use people to build an empire don't use people love people and jesus said something that is very terrible he says love them that hate you persecute you despitefully use you now that's a painful one i understand loving somebody who loves me back but how do i love somebody who does not love me that's where it becomes spiritual are we together when you love somebody who cannot give you anything back in return your love is genuine brothers and sisters let me tell you something love is a powerful force love is not a feminine thing love is not just an emotional thing for ladies and men who are interested in them love is a formula the bible says these three remain faith hope and love what is the greatest love first corinthians 13 12 after listing all of the gifts of the spirit it says but i show you a more excellent way and that more excellent way is the way of love all these people you have in your black book in the name of jesus bond that book tonight change it to a white book 
in the name of Jesus over my dead body this sister you came and collected my husband something I know is my own you came and did this you came and collected this you collected my job all this rubbish and then there are men of God who enforce those things through prophecy and through all of those nonsense make up your mind today that if there is anybody you are holding in the heart you must let it go what's that song you sing worship song lay it down you know the song lay it down lay it down that's a part of the song lay it down hot listen god is speaking to someone now there are there are people here the only person you love in your life is you the only person who can live with you is you nobody else something is wrong with you not the people you are talking about tonight lay it down we're rounding up faith works by love you will never have faith to heal people when you don't love them no no you'll never have faith to bless people god will never commit to you the true riches of the kingdom if the purpose of your wanting to be a millionaire and a billionaire is to mock people and say you laughed at me yesterday now see what god has done no you see people do it all around those people are not they are not sound believers i'm ministering to you we're rounding up right now there are so many believers carrying luggages that they should not carry pain hot I will not be surprised if there are people here you love God but you never see eyeball to eyeball when you see yourself you just pass how are you the other person says fine it's just the sound you need you don't need the person's face hallelujah you must learn to love the law of love is where the power of God is released the Bible never said God has love there is the faith of God but the love of God he says God himself is love and he that walks in love walks in God you can you are in Christ and not have love love requires forgiveness shout forgiveness say it again love requires tolerance say tolerance not everything in people will change you have to forbear it's a spirit the grace to forbear Are we together? Love requires sacrifice. Everyone says sacrifice. Yeah. There is a dimension of love that is painful. Tears may come out of your eyes, but you choose to love. You do this and you will see the power of the Holy Spirit. Man of God, let me encourage you. Whether or not your members are encouraging you, whether they are sowing into your life or blessing you, keep loving them. Love them genuinely. Pray for them more than you pray for yourself. And watch what happens. Don't use them to make a name. Are we together? There are many ministers who use members. These are my flocks. These are my, my sheep. Jesus is the shepherd. The, 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 the only shepherd around that we know was David and all of these people. But Jesus said, I am the good shepherd. If you claim to be a shepherd outside of him, you are a bad shepherd. I am the good shepherd. You don't treat people like animals. All these are my children, some sons, daughters, flock. <laughs> Arrogantly. I don't know how people have the confidence to do that. If I do that kind of thing, will I be able to sleep? Nina Yesune Bazanko. Bazanko ma baya Nina Yesu ne Bazanko ma Bazanko ma baya Nasa hayo na akanke to ma Bazanko ma baya Listen we are going to pray but I want us to do something I'm going to allow you the next two to three minutes don't come here don't come on stage but you are going to walk around to everybody listen I want you to hug and greet the person and say I love you even if it's an enemy I'm not saying go to somebody you like don't don't it's a prophetic instruction I want you to walk around 
while you are doing that i want you to use this movement to lay down every heart all this wrinkle you are having you it has left your face to your life you need to drop it and say no no i i, I cannot i can't do this to myself i'm too young to be this frustrated my life will work nigeria is working you are not happy with nigeria there's nothing you can do you're a nigerian hug yourself into joy and peace and motivate yourself you're going to do that honestly are we together those outside inside those online find somebody to hug if there's nobody hug your bible and say in the name of jesus my life is working rise up now in the name of jesus rise up now in the name of jesus Open your mouth and begin to pray in the spirit. Shabarado Satalabaria. Walk now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, listen listen it is not what you do that makes you succeed it is how you do it it's not doing certain things that make people succeed I want to pray for you I have learned in my little life that the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is the difference Praise the Lord. I stretch my hands upon all of you right now as I speak. May the grace that lifts men come upon every one of you as I speak right now. Receive it right now. The grace that lifts people. There is an anointing that lifts a man. It's not trial and error. Let it come upon you right now. I open up the gates of cities, the gates of territories, and I speak in the name of Jesus. A level of grace may your saxophone stop being an instrument may it become a weapon from today a weapon of healing you and your entire team let it burn like fire in your spirit like fire upon your spirit never to be the same you will sing with the sounds of the heavens and everybody that hears that sound will know that your communications are of the spirit there is a grace that lifts men you can try you can struggle you can beg you can connect no. see every time listen every time you see consistent results regardless of the situation there is an anointing please learn this there is an anointing there is an anointing that translates men swallows up the weaknesses of people may that be your testimony in the name of jesus christ god will give you wisdom let your ministry enter another dimension I pray for character for all of you. See, this is usually the problem. Listen, let me, I'm, I'm teaching, you are learning. The most important aspect of the anointing is the character to maintain it. Not the anointing. 
Because you see, the anointing is very charismatic. The most powerful ability of a man of God is self-control. The ability to keep quiet even when you have what to say. The ability to walk within the jurisdiction of the grace apportion. There are many of we people, we don't have self-control. Especially over an opportunity like this. Everybody now wants to show and you do not know where God has stopped and you want to continue to stretch it to show you are anointed and then you step out of the spirit and begin to walk in the flesh. Because some of you are here for this same anointing. But you see, the, it's not just the anointing. Believe me, this is not an issue of prayer and fasting. It's an issue of knowing God and understanding his ways. God is only committed to backing what he instructed. If he did not direct you, he will not back you. Hallelujah. God bless you. John chapter 3 verse 16. Let's just look at scripture quickly and then we'll pray. There is a lot that God wants to do tonight. These guys have already stared the anointing. And you see the thing with the anointing is once he's stared, it doesn't stop. He doesn't know whether it's miracle service or Easter. John chapter 3 verse 16. I'd like you all to be sensitive. The anointing has been stared up in this place. Many of you do not know what the staring of the anointing is. The moment your eyes sees, there is a relationship between your heart and your eyes. So once your eye sees it, immediately your spirit is open. And the moment your spirit is open, the spirit of God starts moving. He doesn't care whether you are preached or not. Because that's his desire. Hallelujah. And usually, once the anointing starts moving, it's very difficult to contain it. Because the hearts of people are open. In the name of Jesus. hearing the sound of thunder i know this is not physical i'm hearing a sound of thunder like lightning is coming upon people right now in the congregation why do i see this it's like the sound of thunder. thunder it's what i hear in my spirit it's a sound. hallelujah please pay attention the meeting is on i'm seeing ministering spirits it's a class of angels i'm seeing them walk inside and outside just let me do what is happening ministering spirits there are not many times i see these kinds of angels i'm seeing them walking inside and outside ministering spirits they are angels that impart strange levels of graces ah, ah, yeah. They will touch you where you are. It will be like fire. They will touch you where you are. As they touch you, 
they release your miracles as they touch you they release your breakthroughs as they touch you they break those chains nah. they are touching you on behalf of families touching you on behalf of families direction that's what i hear god is giving men direction it's like an anointing it will come on you outside and inside direction and end to that confusion right now it's coming like light but then you will hear him direct you direction 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 what is that area of confusion his light shines upon it right now for marriage direction Direction, direction, direction for where to settle down, geographic location, direction is coming by the Holy Ghost, direction. Somebody is praying and say, Lord, show me. The Lord is saying, I am showing you, it's coming upon your spirit. I'm giving you direction on what to do direction hallelujah i'm seeing the names of people written on a paper and put under a stone and the Lord is saying, take it out. Lord, where are those people whose destinies have been buried? As I'm speaking right now, inside and outside. Right now, right now. As I speak, by the power of the Holy Spirit. Right now, where you are sitting, you will receive a visitation. I pull it out. This is a miracle service. I pull it out now. Oh yes, release that lady. I see it in the spirit. Release that lady right now. Release that lady's destiny. is happening to you where you are something is happening to you where you are begin to receive it by faith like the dew of heaven resting in this place inside and outside Lord we receive what you are doing
Just sit down if you can. Those under the anointing, just leave them. John 3, 16. I just want to the Lord has just healed a lady of a breast lump you have a lump in your left breast check it right now check it right now check it and come out right now right now I don't know why God is just interrupting please check it check it check it right now in fact I see three people check it this is a family please we are not playing games inside and outside i'm seeing three ladies who came with like a lump on their breast check it right now that devil has gone back to hell please check it quickly and come out if they are under the anointing when they when they are all right let them come out very quickly let them come out quickly augustina augustina i'm hearing the name like Augustina Augustina if there's someone like that you can just make your way to the front quickly Augustina the Lord is judging evil in your family this is oppression this is what I'm seeing oppression as it's happening to you, there's somebody outside. This same anointing is touching the person outside. The second overflow, the anointing of the Spirit is touching somebody outside. The Lord is bringing judgment to wickedness. Because I'm seeing that this is something that has to do with witchcraft. It has tied your life and your family down. And the Lord is telling me, release Augustina. Release Augustina release augustina release augustina and as it's happening to you it's also happening to that other lady in the name of jesus i release you right now from every chain that has held you be released your family be released it's time for you to testify i release both of you prophetically in the name of jesus christ every door the devil has tied let it be opened by the anointing of the spirit in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah i'm seeing a whole family that came there is a family god wants me to minister to you are five five people I don't know if there is a mother I'm seeing a family with five people who came from somewhere and the Lord wants me to minister to them you are five in all you're five in all please when you identify them they can come up so that we will just minister to them very quickly hallelujah for God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. And the Bible says. That he proved that love. By giving. His only begotten son. Please listen. Don't worry about what is happening. Just let me have your attention please. He says. He gave his only begotten son this we can take it from there that that statement he gave his only begotten son is the summation of the substitutionary sacrifice of Christ are we together now Please help her wrap her i command that spirit to leave her right now 
now. And never return. In the name of Jesus. Release her family. Release. I see a lot of money being tied. Release it now as you go. In the name of Jesus the Christ. So the Bible says he gave his only begotten son hallelujah for God so loved the world the word there is cosmos the social system that has to do with people listen please and has to do with the entire territory the social system he says for God so loved the world and he proved that love listen listen because love must be manifested to be appreciated. Are we together now? And the Bible says that he gave his only begotten son. And please don't be confused. There is a name. That son is called Jesus. Because there are many people who can preach to be the begotten of the father. But the only begotten son who after his resurrection now became the first begotten. Right? Until the resurrection of man, he was the only begotten. Please listen. You see, everything about this Bible was pointing to this very revelation. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Everything. The book of Revelation says the revelation of Jesus Christ. Not the revelation of a formula or a principle. So the law... The prophets, Abraham, Samson, Isaac, Judges, everything was tracing to the genealogy of Jesus Christ. And then the Bible says that he manifested himself before people and he was full of grace and truth. Listen, Jesus came with a message and his message was very simple. He said, repent. The word repent is not the word turn from your sins. No. Preachers preach that as a result of lack of understanding. The word repent is an indication of completely turning from a direction to another. Please just be patient with me. This family or minister. Are we together now? Turning from one direction to the other. But the first step to that turning is acknowledging a person his sacrifice and his government that's the first step and then you begin to walk in accordance to his principles only when you do that are you said to have repented many people have not repented they want to repent they think they have repented they hope they are repenting the first message that was preached after the resurrection of Christ. He said, men and brethren, what shall we do? And this is what the apostle said. Repent for the remission of your sins. So the Bible says, he gave his only begotten son. You laid aside your majesty. You gave up everything for me. You suffered at the hands. Of those you have created, you took all my guilt and shame when you died and rose again. Now, today, in heaven, if you know it, just sing it with me. I really want to worship you, my Lord. You have won my heart and I am yours Forever and ever I will love you You are the only one That for me gave your life
like you give your ATM for someone to use and withdraw money. He gave, he donated. And Jesus came upon the earth and he began to do many great things. Listen, Jesus did not just come. Please, I want you to pay attention. It's going to be very brief and we'll begin to pray. Jesus did not just come to show us how God looked alone. He came to show us how we should look. So when he walked upon the earth, he was the prototype of God's idea of the man he had created. He was invincible. The Bible records. Above situations, above circumstance, with unlimited power, yet a man of extreme self-control. He knew when to speak and he knew when to keep quiet. There would be so many sick people, like the ten lepers. He would heal one and just walk away. Because his desire was not to show power. His desire was to do the will of the Father. He was more interested in bringing satisfaction to his Father than building a ministry. People tried to say, look, build a ministry. And he said, no, 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 no. I can of my own do nothing as I see my father do. So he came to show us the prototype of the true Christian life. A life that is completely yielded to the will of the father. Void of self-ambition. Void of a desire for vain glory and personal gratification outside of Christ. A life that is crucified. Are we together now? And then the Bible begins to describe to us that which happened today many years ago. We know it as the passion of the Christ. It started from the communion where they came into him by covenant so that they would authorize him. John chapter 6 says, except you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you cannot be part of me. You cannot have my life. So while they were taking the communion, they were giving him access to carry the sin of man upon himself. And then the Bible says he went to Gethsemane and there he cried. He prayed until tears were like drops of blood. Afterwards, he was ready to be crucified. And brothers and sisters, I know that we celebrate Easter. Today is Good Friday. Pain is what made today good. Are we together? Sacrifice is what made today good. If he refused to lay down his life. Listen, when Pilate looked at him and said, don't you know I have the power to free you? He said, ah, 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 ah. He said no man has this power except it is given unto him by my father. He said, I have the power to lay it down and the power to pick it up again. In other words, I was not coerced. My love for you made me to sacrifice my life, my reputation, and everything. We talk a lot about Good Friday, but we never know what made it good. This is what made it good. That a man gave his son, then the son gave his life. Are we together now? It's one thing to give your child. It's another thing for the child to agree. He can refuse. Jesus had the right to refuse in fact he was tempted to negotiate it he said father if it be possible you are the all wise God there is another way you can do this thing but then he remembered nevertheless I told you the hallmark of sonship is servanthood the true proof that you are a son is that you can give up sonship to become a servant are we together now the father gave Jesus Jesus gave his life and don't be confused he gave his blood he gave his righteousness are we together now he gave up his position and when he was doing that he had you in mind listen listen he never went to the cross because of anything he did of himself the Bible says he was a man touched with the feelings of our infirmity yet without sin but he took your place 
because the Bible says we all like sheep have gone astray. Right? He said every man has gone his own way. With our ideas about God, our ideas about success. Would you give our mother a chair, please? Let her just sit down. I'll minister to you in a moment, please. At least let her just sit down. Hallelujah. Well, all of you, you can sit down. I'll call you now. They're all looking at me. Um, sit down. Especially this, my friend. Friend, how are you? What's his name? Aaron. Kelvin. Just get somewhere. For, they can sit around. And I'll attend to you now. Just five minutes. Let me establish what. Hallelujah. So, please come, sir. I offend a government and they are about to destroy me listen please about to destroy me and the bible testifies that i have no power in myself and then someone comes and while i'm on my way to destruction he interrupts and he says i love you too much to let you keep gambling and trying your way this is what i want you to do stand back and watch me pay the price and while he was on the way while they were flogging him in his mind he was saying mankind i hope you are watching this would have been you i hope you are watching i hope you are watching the scars as he began to bleed he said i hope you are watching see if two people come and they tell you they love you the best answer to give those two people is I'm watching. Because love is a verb. Are we together now? I am what? All kinds of things have told you they love you. But they left you. But Jesus said, watch my love. I'm not going to make noise about it. First turn back. And while they flogged him, he said, if it's for you, I will still go the extra mile. And they flogged him. The father gave him. He gave his health. The father gave him. He gave his prosperity. The father gave him. When we say his life. Let's break it down. What, what is in his life that he gave? Because that's what he gave you. What was in the life of Jesus? The ability to reign and rise above sickness and diseases. The father gave him. He gave it away in exchange. The Bible says he was rich, but he gave it. Are we together now? He had a reputation of dominion, but he laid it aside. I hope you know that they stripped him naked. The covering you see around is just for social reasons when you are watching movies. A 33-year-old man, naked. Children watched him adults watched him people mocked at him and said you claim to be a king and he said this is all for you are we together blood dripping out from every part of his body every time he was tempted to give up he said no if i give up where i stop is where you must continue and i know that even if it was for the last nail you still would not be able to take it see listen if you think what happened on the cross is what Jesus just died for, physically, you will be deceived. Because there are human beings who have been crucified. What he stopped you from was not the physical activity. It was what was happening in the spirit. You can do the physical one, I guarantee you. People have been crucified. But you don't know what that meant in the spirit. A lot was interplaying in the spirit while that was happening. He became Adam from Gethsemane. From Gethsemane to the cross, he was no longer the Christ. He was Jesus, Adam, the very man of sin. Mortality came upon him. Please listen. And the father kept watching. He had given him and he knew that it is more blessed to give than to receive. So there was no negotiation about receiving. The blessing was that he would bring many sons into glory. Are we together now? When they took him to that cross and they nailed him, as his blood began to drip upon the earth, and in that excruciating pain, 
It was a way of torturing criminals. He was not just looking at Mary and John. He was looking at you. He was looking at me. He was looking at every witchcraft in our family and every ordinance of darkness. And he said, if it's for you, I will do it. But he made a very interesting statement we are going to establish tonight. Three words that represented victory. It is finished. Oh, hallelujah. I didn't study English. But I know that when a man says, it is finished. It is finished. Is a reality that is present and continuous forever. Not it was finished. You would have said the condition for it finishing has changed. So we have to start another one. It is finished. The question is, what is the it that has been finished? First, that inability to access the Father. We call it lack of righteousness. He said that error is finished. That, 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 that Christianity that has to do with ceremonial cleansings, having to atone for your sins by your own strength, I brought it to an end. That ability of saying qualify and come to God, he said it is finished. You now will come through my own invitation, my own access. Like I organize a program and I invite someone and while you are about to drive him, I say, no, 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 that's my guest. Come. But you are not only his guest, he also made you the one to be celebrated. Please listen. There is a dimension of this we have not learned and this is what I want to teach us. When Jesus went to hell and met Satan, a discussion transpired. And Satan said, remember Adam. And he said, I don't remember Adam. I am him. Don't you see? This is Adam. And Satan knew it was true. Because only Adam had the right to collect the key. No other man could collect the key. And so he went as the second Adam. And said, you killed Adam and every man that came from him. Let me have the keys. Revelations 1 verse 1. When you read down what? I am he that was dead. But now I am alive and I hold the keys. He collected the keys. Listen. Access to the earth. Access to dominion. Access to God's life. That's the most important part. The life of God. I'm going to explain it. When he resurrected. Watch this. Did you know. That if he just started walking and doing all of the things he did, man would not be able to partake of it. Because he had not ascended to heaven. It would just be that he was victorious. And then the Bible says, according to the book of Hebrews, that he went to heaven as the high priest, the lamb, the sacrifice, as everything. And then he took his blood, poured it upon that tabernacle, and said, Father, you are just for seeing that man does not have access to divine health and all of this because you are a just God. Your throne is founded upon righteousness and justice. The Bible says they are the foundations, meaning there's no negotiation that will bend it. But now he says, every time you think justice, let mercy begin to speak. Watch this. I really want you to get a revelation of this. It will change your life. Every time the voice of judgment, the voice of mess or of, of justice begins to speak, I will not fight it. But remember that I not only paid the price, I paid the price for everybody who will be an offender on this path. Are we together now? When that happened, a coronation happened in heaven we see that coronation the psalmist gave us a revelation and from philippians chapter 2 the bible says a name an office an identity was given to him in heaven to sit upon that throne are we together now and the bible says anything that has to do with man's redemption 
man's vindication must pass through him meaning a man is only condemned when he condemns that man a man is only justified when he justified the father put it in his office are we together watch what he did when he sat down on that throne he told man there is another dimension you do not know i know that i paid the price for you but i want to teach you another dimension we paid it in covenant listen you did not participate in anything but out of my love i took you and made it as though in me you were the one who paid that price so not only did he die for you you died in him are we together now so in christ every man's iniquity every man's um basis for accusation was nailed in christ paul saw this in galatians 2 20 and he said i have been crucified with christ nevertheless he said i live yet not i but christ is an exchange he died for me now i live in him in other words the day jesus christ dies there is no reason why i should be alive because we're in him so my life is no longer something i get outside of him my life is an overflow of what i have received from him and he so designed that from that point hence listen everything i derive will be because of him in him and with him my joy is because of him my prosperity is because of him please listen my peace is because of him so at no point in this kingdom would i be found leaning on my own strength because the moment i lean on my own strength the judgment of the law catches up with me the only basis for vindication is to be in him this is what he said he says he that abides in me and i abide in him he said the same will bear much fruit he said for without me the word without means outside of me and everything that i have done ye can do nothing the basis of the believer's victory is what christ did on the cross but not just what christ did on the cross because that's what a lot of people say oh i know what he did no let's continue john 3 verse 16 please give it to us so that we can finish up it's not enough to know what jesus did that's not where i'm going tonight this is the part that concerns you that whosoever believes believes what no 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 he didn't say that whosoever believes anything there is a specific thing you have to believe to have life you can believe jesus is a prophet it never gives life you can believe jesus is a healer it doesn't give life are we together he says believe in him who is the him who is the him no you see you see where we miss it we have been believing in rubbish who is the him who he said god no believing in god doesn't give you life who is the him that's where i want us to get to tonight you, you see that our confusion is the reason why we cannot manifest the reality of god's life we believe but what do you believe Are we together you can believe the shepherd believe me you will not be saved believing in the shepherd does not bring salvation are we together believe in him who is him the bible i love the way the bible puts it as many as believed in him 
see that brothers and sisters i am many things and all of those dimensions can give you different operations of me are we together a child believes a father a worker believes a ceo a jimmy's daughter believes in her father she doesn't believe in a ceo we believe in a jimmy adegbeye the multi-millionaire that's what you believe you will never get fatherly love from that dimension are we together now you may get financial advice you may get intelligence you may get all of this i believe in professor femi you will get the intellectual dimension there is a dimension of god you must believe to have life many of us have believed him as a healer you can be healed and still go to hell please hear me many of us have believed him as a savior you can have i mean you can have a what do we call it a, as a shepherd what dimension of him have you believed i will tell you now ready there is a dimension of him you must believe to be saved whosoever calls upon the name of the lord shall be saved what is lord the word lord means a conqueror are we together now listen please it's not just a savior like the one who died he didn't resurrect as a savior he died as a savior he did not resurrect as a savior he resurrected as lord a winner a champion one qualified to transfer what he has and the bible says whoever believed that listen whoever believes in him that name that was given he said he shall not perish the word perish there is not the word go to hell are we together because the bible says whoever does not believe is already condemned shall not perish here it is but have money but have the word everlasting is a wrong interpretation everybody has everlasting life everlasting life is life that does not end your your life does not end you only change location to continue the living that's why we never say will you spend eternity you must spend it the question is where are we together now don't mind this my funny friend where will you spend eternity not will you spend you must spend it the word eternal life there is the word divine life is the greek word zoe i know you've heard it many of us quote it but just listen the word zoe listen let me describe it for you it's a life that does not one depend on any external impute for its sustenance it's a life that has the capacity to reproduce anything it needs within itself are we together now like you do not have to source for anything within that system is self-sufficiency within that system is the ability to be any and everything that life can become health that life can become victory that life can become wisdom so when the bible says we have life it doesn't mean we just have a new way of breathing in and out no something came upon you that all of a sudden translates you please i want you to believe this the bible says the focus in the whole story is the believing part whoever believes in him the Lord, who was a savior, became a conqueror, now sits as a king. The father gave the son. The son gave his life. Your job is to receive that life. When you receive that life in reality, the Bible says certain things will begin to change. You see, the life is a programming. The moment it enters you it deconstructs itself to different dimensions please listen the life of god is not just a big thing that comes up no 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 it is the life that begins to open you up to the mysteries of the kingdom it is the life you have received 
that begins to immune you from the activities of darkness many people have not received this life they want healing but they have rejected the life of god many people have come out for altar call father i i am I'm, I'm born again i believe in you this and that but they have not received it he said as many as received brothers and sisters you can reject it many seated here have rejected it i give you my atm card you refuse to collect it you can reject it yet you need what only my atm card will give you you can borrow money from pastor lawrence borrow money from uh, a promise and so on and so forth and i say take my atm card the point is you don't just take it and hold it when you take the card something will make you turn behind and begin to read and follow you see the life of god is not how do i put it now it's not like something you just put in your pocket all right look at this i have this handkerchief so we say i have the life of god do you have it yes no that's not the idea of the life of god the idea of the life of god is like a programming something enters you and begins to walk in you it is god who is at work in us to will and to do so it's working the moment the life enters you it's like a genetic mutation it starts altering your configuration are we together now and the holy spirit is the custodian of that life when he comes he begins to open you up to the realities of the kingdom all of a sudden listen because of that life you are now spiritually alive you can have the sensitivity to know that life was not supposed to be like this why am i always failing you will never just know that ordinarily it takes that life to open that awareness in you are we together now it's like glasses you all of a sudden start seeing life from another perspective no i'm not supposed to fail like this i can't i can't just be taking it like that again something must change no i've seen a trend in my family people don't get married till they are 45 i'm noticing that something in my external environment is fighting the reality of that life and the bible says he who has the son has eternal life so way god's kind of life now watch this although you have that life it takes the ministry of the holy spirit please listen to open you up to the operation of that life so that you can receive the fullness of the benefits of that life this is where a lot of people miss it oh i have life i have life the same way you say i have a car the same way you say i have an atm card can you use it i have given it to you do you know how to activate the operation of that life do you know how to make that life work in you? We have been taught that it works automatically. No, sir. No, sir. You can claim to have the life and still die of sickness. Now, this is where Satan's ministry comes. The thief cometh not but to steal, to kill. If you don't have anything, he doesn't come to steal. Are we together now? Satan comes. His first ministry is deception. What is deception? Painting an untrue picture and convincing you to believe it. So you believe that I do not have this life. If I truly had this life, I should not be sick. Are we together now? If I have this life, I should be doing exploits academically. If I have this life, now listen. Here is where the confusion has come in the body of Christ. There are those who are saying you have this life. There are those who are saying you don't have this life you better fight your way into receiving it both of them are incomplete on one side you are seeing the suppose by faith you believe you know you acknowledge that that life is in you but then you are not seeing the difference the bible said should be produced are we together now this is the dilemma of many christians i gave my life to christ from the day i got born again my life has not changed it's been 10 years i will tell you why eternal life is being frustrated within you because you have not been taught how to release and activate the operation of the content 
of that life. It's like buying a phone. You admire it, you look at it, but you do not know how to work with it. That was the lamentation of the psalmist in Psalm 82 from verse 5. He says, they know not. Not they have not. They know not. Neither will they understand. He said they grope in darkness and so the foundations of the earth are out of course. The next verse says, have I not said, ye are gods and all of you are children of the most high. He says, but you shall what? Die like mere men. Listen, please listen. An heir, as long as he is a child, does what? The Bible starts by calling him what? An heir, a partaker of an inheritance, a partaker of a reality. But it says, as long as he's a child, the word child here is devoid of strategy, devoid of the ability to understand the operation of that process. He said he differed not from a slave. I can receive the life of God that contains health, vitality, prosperity, and still be under a curse. I tell you, hear me, brothers and sisters. Because we misunderstand the prophetic dimension of God's word. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. But we do not know that the communications of God are twofold. There is the prophetic communication of God. Speakings according to his realm of existence. But there is the experiential manifestation of that prophetic word. It is the nature of God to call things as though they already appear. Are we together now? Hebrews chapter 2, he put it very beautifully. He said God had put all things under the subjection of man. He said God did not leave anything left. But he said, as it is now, we do not yet see all things. Are we together now? So, you have come to answer the altar call. The life is in you. But you went back and the exact same thing you know happens when a man is under a curse is happening to you. Now you went to a pastor and said, Pastor, you said if I'm born again, this thing will leave. But you, the person said, yes, is it not in your Bible? We're all ready together. Now you are born again, brothers and sisters. But the truth is, if you will be sincere, you are still seeing those traces as if nothing happened to you. So it puts believers in a dilemma. There are those who are saying, Keep believing that it's gone. One day it will go. Hey, wonder shall never end. If you have that kind of ideology, you are in for trouble. And then on the other hand, there are those who act as though they really have nothing. So they are trying. They live per day. We survive today. Let's see how the war of tomorrow will be. I know that there will be all kinds of things. Are we together now? So although they read, that there is victory in Christ. The truth is they don't believe it. They just know let's fight per day. They are the ones who suspect everybody and everything. If Sam looks at you like this, is a sign that he's an enemy. So they live their life with the consciousness of an aberrated perspective of warfare. And by warfare, they mean a consistent, never-ending contention. Both. Are we together? This is prophecy. But there is a place for the manifestation of prophecy. Jesus Christ has done everything he needs to do. But I have a role to play. Nobody gets saved just because Jesus died. You will go to hell. There is a response. Please listen. The idea of grace does not mean not participating. No. No. The idea of not participating in a process to call it grace is an aberration. Are we together? Uh-huh. The difference between grace and the law is what kind of participation. There is a participation that is unto the flesh. There is a participation that is a response of faith. That is the participation that brings results. Are we together now? So if the Bible says, by tithing you open your heavens, when I'm tithing, 
I'm not acting under the law. I'm not trying to do something. I am responding. There is a difference between doing something to gain righteousness. But in any case, there must be reception by faith. And that in itself is a participation. This looks very simple, but it's at the foundation of the lack of results and the miracles that many people are, are not receiving. I don't want us to waste this night and just get up and see people fall under the anointing and celebrate miracles and go back. I want you to live victorious. If all you think is healing, you will be frustrated. If all you think is on my own, think God's life and all its content is the way the life of God that can become any and everything any and everything Christ has been made unto me through his life wisdom he's been made unto me strength he's been made unto me prosperity that life is the word and as the word opens up it shows me the dimensions of its operation and then I look out first to believe Number two, to respond. Everybody say believe. Say respond. This is your part as a believer. You, when you respond to what you do not believe, is a waste of time. So the Bible says, whoever believes in him, you receive. But that life begins to teach you certain things. And you respond to those teachings. Please listen to me. Part of what that life teaches you is that Satan is a trickster. He's a deceptive person. And he will not, just because you have life, leave you. The Bible says he left Jesus for a season. The next time he would come, he didn't come directly again. He came through Peter. And Jesus said, I still detect you. And the devil says, do not, I mean, God said, do not be unaware. Speaking through the apostle of the devil's strategy are we listening to me please because many people get up bragging i'm not under any cause i'm not under this christ has redeemed me from the curse of the lord that's not a lie but you have not learned how to participate in response to make that an experiential reality so you will still brag around and die like mere men are we together now I really believe in Jesus Christ and I really believe in his word but I also believe in the principles that the revelation of his life releases and my obsession is to always find out where is my part in this brothers and sisters there is a part there is a part that you have to play believing is not enough believing talks of conviction persuasion about the truth of a person or a statement but there must be a response your response is your action of faith so the bible says this in the book of hebrews there remained a rest a sabbath for the people of god in spite of what christ has done there still remains a rest and then it says let us therefore labor this is paul in the new testament what is the idea of labor push God aside no let us find out our place of response let us therefore understand the operations of the kingdom so that we will know where our place of alignment is and he says whoever labors like that there is a guarantee he will enter his rest there is a way you will align that sickness will run away from your body believe me it's not just by claiming um, you will claim and be shocked there is a way you respond. Remember during our time of fasting, we're showing you different mysteries. These are all the components that are called the life of God. Right? He gave you life. But it takes faith and it takes an operation of the spirit 
So Satan has kept many people bound for two main reasons. One, they have rejected the life. And the solution to that is an altar call. I'm going to do that shortly before we start ministering. The second is he has kept people in delusion and ignorance. Never trivialize the role of deception in a man's destruction. Deception. The first deception is that you don't need to do anything again. Oh, brothers and sisters, hear me. I fear God. It's a big deception. As free as salvation claims to be, if you do not respond, you are going to hell. There is always a participation. That's what we call koinonia. Everybody say participation. If you will ever enjoy the healing dimension of God's life, there is a participation. If there will ever be prosperity, there is a participation. Now, the participation is a response of faith. God credits it at the response of faith, not an addition to what he has done. It's a compliment. So, he would see a sick body and say, your faith. You believe I am able to heal you. You were convinced based on the report you had. And now, I gave you an instruction. Waiting for your participation. You got up. Your faith. He calls it your faith. So, what is your faith? Faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction of God's word. Believing is not faith. No, 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 no. Believing is the first step to faith. You can believe without having faith. A believer is not a possessor. A believer who responds is a possessor. There are so many people, listen to me, who are trusting God for all kinds of things here. I'm teaching you how to get results tonight. God is not a herbalist. There is a participation. Ejimi, this is a gift for you. What is he supposed to do? Watch this, his response. Now, his standing up is a sign that he believes me. I can choose to hide it. Please sit down, sir. Sorry I'm using you. Hope, I'm sorry I'm just doing this game with your husband. Hallelujah. Hey, Jimmy, do you believe I'm having a phone? And that phone is for you. If you believe it, walk up to me. Faith. This is faith. The walking to me, although he has not seen it. So he's putting my integrity to the line. It's up to me to prove that I'm not lying. So I bring it out. If he comes to me, listen. If he comes to me and I say, ah, I'm playing. He believed. I'm the one who is a liar. And the Bible said, God looked for anybody who is greater than him. So that he will show you he's not playing games. Are we together now? Let's look at one scripture. Thank you, sir. Romans chapter 8, please. Romans chapter 8. Let's look at verse 35. Romans 8, 35. Just that one scripture. And then we'll take an altar call. And begin to minister. Romans chapter 8. 35. Okay, give us from verse uh, 32. 32. Thank you. Everyone, please read. If you are a Christian, if you are a child of God, this is Good Friday. Well, even if you are not a child of God, read. I will soon make an altar call. One, two, read. He that spared not stop who is the he now god is trying to make a statement and is tying the certainty of that statement to something he had done before it's like saying he that built this bridge in kaduna and built it excellently is about to build something so in case you doubt what i'm about to do find out whether i did that thing or not he's about to make a statement and he's saying don't you dare doubt me for what i'm about to say he that did not spare his what own son but delivered him up for who what's the next statement how shall he not with him also freely give us what this is god speaking he said look at me your healing is a lesser thing i gave jesus 
what is healing i gave jesus what is witchcraft if i did not if i spared my son then you will know that there are some things i can spare but i carried my son i gave him and now i have gathered you to give you healing and you are asking god this my this have been bleeding for six months non-stop and god said if i spared not jesus i will not spare anything whatever it will take me to prove myself i will do it if it means me killing somebody i will do it i i gave my son who will i not be able to kill listen this is the basis for conviction so every time the devil is trying to say look 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 will that prophecy work just remember jesus jesus begged the father to have mercy the father refused so listen jesus said father reconsider the father said you are joking stay there and now god is saying i want to bless you and the devil is saying no and jesus is saying god is saying just believe me and watch how i will do anything it takes is there anything too hard for me to do i am that i am Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Yeah. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. Hallelujah. If the Father did not give Jesus it's like a man listen it's like a man who vowed to punish every offender and he saw his wife and the guy said I'm a just person and he punished his wife then somebody throws a and say oh guy you know we are Nigerians what do you think he's going to do you say that's my wife inside the gutter I'm a military man this is my wife I paid the price for six months to get a yes from her. She's in that gutter. I don't know the consequence of my action. If you think I'm going to forgive you. Listen. If it took God. Refusing to even give Jesus a chance for negotiation. For your sake. Then I assure you. Whatever else it is. That is holding you. Must leave you this night. Hallelujah. Do you believe me? We are going to pray and say, Lord, help my own belief. That, listen, listen, listen. That spirit that makes me keep wondering, can God do it? Listen, don't, don't make that foolish statement tonight. I, I was praying on the, tonight, before I came here, I was praying on the invitation card for my neighbor's wedding. If you know the story behind that dear woman she shared it here all kinds of things when i met her the devil was almost destroying her life had fibroid that was almost big like the size of a baby she shared her testimony here supernaturally that devil of fibroid came out the way a woman gives birth it came out like that without surgery and people were saying ah can you marry time has gone time has gone nonsense i prayed for the card and to the shame of the devil we are dancing to the heavens on the 6th of may <laughs> hallelujah brothers and sisters your limitation is self-imposed satan is a deceiver he comes to you and says but can they really hear your voice we are going to pray the only prayer i want you to pray tonight is to challenge unbelief and say lord i lift my faith i'm ready to respond based on my conviction lift your voice and begin to pray i have a part to play I lift up that wall of unbelief. Please pray, pray. You are able.
Are you praying? sense the anointing of the spirit i'd like you to mention everything that must live tonight listen please just follow these instructions i told you your response is where your faith is there are things that should go don't just keep quiet and watch them the bible says speak to the mountain open your mouth and begin to mention them don't keep quiet Mountain of financial hardship. Mountain of cancer. Mountain of mediocrity. Oh, you must go, you must go. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Say after me tonight. In the name of Jesus. The faith of God is at work in me. I have the faith to receive. I have the faith to believe. I have the faith to respond. Please listen. Do you know what happened in Acts chapter 4? Don't turn there. The Bible says they went to a gate called Beautiful. Please let me sit down, sir. Watch this. It says they saw a man who had been there. And he, he, he called on them for arms. And he thought they were going to give him arms. Peter and John. And he, they said silver and gold have i none he said but such as i have listen listen i give unto you what did he have he said in the name of jesus rise up and walk the man was there sit down he was there. nothing happened why response did he believe peter yes did he get a miracle no why he, he could not respond and the bible says when peter saw him he said who taught you faith he held his hand and said respond 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 and the bible says peter held his hand and he leaping stood the power of god is released at the point of response not before never before at the point of response when i began to minister here the lord was speaking to my spirit who gave me a guarantee that the power of god will move but as i began to speak I put pressure. It's left for him now to defend whether he really spoke to me or not. God will not just get up and act. Listen. It was God that put this miracle service. You're leaving your house to come is enough response already. Are you listening to me? You're going to say, Lord, I put pressure on your integrity. You ask us to come. We have come. Lift your voice and pray. Don't be afraid of saying it. Pray. Lord, you ask us to come. You are the one who anointed this meeting to be a miracle service. Now, oh God, we are here. Put pressure on his integrity. 
we have come oh god that you prove yourself shake it up shake it up we have come hallelujah hallelujah now keep standing everybody before we continue there are people here i don't want you to waste your time and i don't want to waste your time there are people here inside and outside in all the overflows outside you are yet to make this decision the bible says this is the testimony that god has given us eternal life he said and that life is in his son he says he who has the son has that life please we're out of time we have very few minutes and there is a lot to do now wherever you are you are saying man of god i have heard your word i have been struggling with this thing but tonight i truly want to dedicate everything my all to jesus christ or you are saying man of god i have come out for an altar call before but for some reason honestly the pressures of life have pushed me and i need to make my way straight with the lord i'm tired of where i am those two categories of people inside and outside i want you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come out here right now god bless you quickly please i'll count just one to five if the holy ghost is speaking to you don't sit down thinking about it make your way very quickly one two run run like there's fire on the mountain especially those outside please you need to run run to jesus as you stand here please keep talking to him don't just stand looking at me god bless you run to jesus oh win that war win that war tonight this is an issue of your destiny koinonia can you appreciate them this is a harvest for the king of glory you're saying lord i'm tired of living my life my own way mismanaging my life on this easter friday i give everything to you keep coming you are saying lord easter friday you died for god so loved me he died for me i'm tired of living a life that is not worthy of my calling there are still people outside please run and catch up quickly quickly as the holy ghost is speaking to you and say join them make your way quickly you're saying lord i'm tired tired of habits tired of addictions run to the cross come running come running come running to the mercy seat. keep coming hallelujah all of you in front in one minute i'd like you to talk to jesus christ please no smiling and pitching one another this is a serious issue please pray open your mouth by yourself and say lord i i come to you genuinely the lord is ministering to me that there are three ladies outside who should join them you wanted to go and one of your friends stopped you please friend be careful don't stand against anybody's salvation this night make your way to the front please and join them i'm seeing three ladies outside that the lord is calling one of you your friend was trying to stop you the devil is a liar please make your way to the front and then there are two others god is speaking to join them quickly before we start praying those of you in front here talk to your maker no man condemns you the blood declares mercy said no help me I'm not gonna let you go I'm not gonna let you sleep away You don't have to be afraid No man condemns you The mercy The mercy
Look at me. All of you in front. Some of you are crying. I don't care what you have done. This one decision. Remember Jesus. Every time the devil tries to condemn you, are you not the drunkard? Tell him the drunkard is that guy on the cross. Something is about to happen to you right now. Oh yes. Oh, you slept with somebody before coming here. You say, well, I don't know what you are talking about, but I've been crucified with Christ. He looked at the woman. He said, where are thine accusers? He said, neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. Lift your right hand and experience the power of the blood. The power of mercy. You just sing, there is a fountain filled with blood very softly as I pray for them. Hallelujah. Listen, brothers and sisters, Jesus can change your life. Don't stand here just making an emotional decision to go back. There is power in the blood of Jesus. Say after me, Lord Jesus, from the depth of your heart, say it again, Lord Jesus. I believe in you. And this night, I surrender everything my life my dreams my hopes my ambitions I surrender it to you I receive eternal life into my spirit I declare that from today I'm no longer a sinner I've been crucified with Christ and I have his life right now. Jesus has paid the price. I receive his life and I declare that I'm a new creation. The old has gone. I begin a new journey. Satan, you no longer have any accusation against me. I pray for you. Keep your hands lifted. Father, on this Good Friday, we present these souls as trophies to you. This is a response to what Jesus did. Oh, receive these souls. Koinonia, present these souls as trophies of victory. Trophies of victory. This is the sacrifice. The rewards of the sacrifice. Hallelujah. I pray for you I declare that your sins are forgiven and the power of sin over your life is broken forever every guilt the devil uses I don't care what it is tonight the same way you wash a dirty clothes in fact the way you bring a new one that's how the pages of your life is he gives you a new beginning in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah a big congratulations to you in the name of Jesus now listen I want you to do this real fast so you will join us I'm about to minister to people now and we're going to be very very fast hallelujah I like you to follow the gentleman there are people all around they will lead you outside we want your information please you are born again now Christians don't tell lies. Make sure that you write your number, you write your name. Just follow the instructions. No fighting. Be patient until it gets to your turn. They'll have your information and you quickly come back and join us in the service. Please do that as fast as possible so that um, you can participate fully in what is happening. God bless you. Every other person begin to pray in the spirit. Rise up on your feet and begin to pray in the spirit. And say, Lord, my time for visitation is here. I won't give up. No, I won't give up. I'll keep pressing on till my answer comes. I won't give up. Lord, I won't give up. I'll keep holding on until my change comes. Lord, I won't give up. Lord, I won't give up. I'll keep holding on till my answer comes. I won't give up. Lord, I won't give up. 
I'll keep pressing on until my change comes. Please write your prayer requests very quickly and submit them. Let's do it quickly, please. One minute, everybody. If you have the prayer request of, of I understand that Koinonia is being streamed live right now. Can we honor God for that? Yes. It's being streamed live. We appreciate the media for their creativity. And for all our online people, we love you. The same power that is working here is the same power that will work everywhere you are in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So please, quickly, quickly, please, your prayer request. Listen, for those of us who are just coming, I, I don't want you to think this is some ritual. Believe me, God answers prayers here. God gave us a revelation. Hallelujah. And the revelation was the revelation of Hezekiah. Hallelujah. When he took the threat letter and the Bible says he put it before the Lord and said, Lord, behold their threatenings. So please write it very quickly. And then ushers, let's be very fast. Please help some people with papers next time. Maybe from uh, maybe two or three months from now, we'll try to create expectation cards so that you can expectation cards. Leave her, John. Leave her. Whatever she wants to do, just let her do. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. Please quickly, your loved ones. Please make sure the online community participate. There's a God that answers prayers here. Remember, we spoke about faith. Those outside, ushers, help them. If I were you, I would begin to prophesy over my request and say, I wrote you because you must live my life or you must come into my life. Hallelujah. Now please begin to pass your requests very quickly. Very quickly. Very quickly. My goodness. I tell you it's like a cloud that is heavy over this place. That's why I'm saying we should hurry up. We feel the rain of your love. We see the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven. Let us hear. See the rain of your love, feel the wind of your spirit, now the heartbeat of heaven, let us hear, so let it rain, let it rain, would you open the floodgates of heaven? pass the prayer request very quickly once we start we're just going to move um, let me encourage those who came with sick people or those who came for healing please make sure you get ready so that when it's time we'll just do that very very quickly hallelujah very quickly and then um, we'll be able to minister to people no matter what 
your condition is one of the things that we're going to be releasing today listen we had an encounter um we just returned from Ekiti state it's a lovely place and um, listen something really happened as they picked us from the airport in Elorin to Ekiti we passed a small village please listen a small village the border between Kwara state and Ekiti state and I saw one of the most miraculous things in my life I saw the obituaries of people listen 132 years 120 years it's like nobody died except they were 100 and something and in my mind i was saying guinness book of record has been lying to us for long and the, the interesting part of it listen is that the people they are not on glasses their dentitions are still exact they don't use crutches they are working firm one of them was a senior apostle that died last year 132 serving in the ministry alive and doing well when i saw those obituaries i said there must be a grace for longevity there, there is a covenant in this lineage that brings longevity and i told the guys i said when we're coming back we're stopping here you can trust me oh the law of honor as soon as we got there we stopped and we came out we went to the women they could not understand english please quickly with a request and we told them we said we are pastors we went to minister in equity and we are going back to the north but we discerned that there is a special anointing a strange grace for longevity and we want them to release upon us and then a lot of things happened that i may not say here and then they took us to one old man and the man just sat on his chair when we went they interpreted and they told him we came to receive that unction for longevity the man looked at us he said we should all kneel down and we got down on our knees and this guy began to pray and prophesy he's on record i'm sure maybe one of these days we played he was in yoruba i didn't care what he was saying Ejimi. all i know is that he was speaking a language and my spirit was receiving it this guy kept prophesying releasing that grace and that mantle upon that territory upon us i said that's right i knew that there's no mistake about this the moment we finished with him honored him so the seed into his life appreciated all the people we were on our way going back to the car and i felt in my spirit to go back and thank the women i went back to thank them and i saw a particular woman and they said this man 132 years this is his wife ah when they said that I said interpret for them that we came for and the woman looked at me they can bear me witness she just tapped me and said you follow her we followed her into a room she just opened the door and i saw pictures from one side to the other she started showing me the pictures i thought it was the wife of the man when he was in his old age you know like ketura that was the one and only woman he married that means that woman should be at least maybe 120 years or something alive these guys can bear me witness no glasses no crutches no nothing i said what kind of grace is this brothers and sisters there are mysteries you've heard me say this thing and when we finished before we finished talking we all got down on our knees and we told the woman she first started singing a song i don't know what it was i don't care what it was this woman spent like 10 minutes just letting it out from her spirit and do you know i was i don't know if i was sharing with them i felt as if they put a crown on my head that's how as i was feeling i knew i got this thing immediately she got it i told her i said let's snap i held her hands and we got to the place we'll show you the video and we snapped and i said i'm standing face to face with a woman 100 and something alive dentition complete can speak no glasses ah it was you i was thinking about i was happy to transport that grace brothers and sisters we brought it it must land on you tonight <laughs> hallelujah i i was just looking i was looking to empty everything i had i said what kind of grace is this 
we went to minister in a university called Afe Babalola University the man himself is 86 years alive and doing well in those regions if you are 80 years you are still a child believe me then when we were returning I saw the shock of my life 141 years one how many 41 I saw the obituary he just died 141 I said I got it let's see the devil that will manufacture himself from anywhere to come and take my life no see listen if you don't believe in transference of grace you will die young don't you ever think it was because of the food they are eating I didn't see any hospital around there I just saw a church and people is you can be 190 and not be able to talk but you are 141 the guy 132 was still serving as a man of God you are cooking by yourself and you died and left the wife the, the mama tapped me in this place once you are 60 years you hold crutches what cause is that I always believed it but now that I've seen it ah, there's that song that says my eyes have seen don't play it my eyes have seen it there are many strange things that will fall today listen if you care you can receive if you don't when we were coming we were in the plane and the plane was bouncing like a football I just remember that old woman I said plane you are joking I'm surrounded by too many mysteries please believe me hallelujah 86 years still a lecturer 89 years still a lecturer alive 100 and something years you see the women as if they are 50 something but some of them are in their 90s 80s 100s that's grace brothers it's not about anybody praying for longevity there is an anointing that comes upon territories and tonight in the course of the meeting is when it's time to pray that please receive it we need to be alive to do a lot for the kingdom pray and say lord my spirit is open to receive everything you have for me Yes, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I want to pray. Why do we do this all the time? We do this because there are spirits, listen, that stand in the way of people's destinies. Don't think that deliverance is just something we do mechanically. I'm about to pray because there are people who came here. There are those who represent families. All that have tied the destinies of men down I'm going to pray I tell you I sense a heavy anointing please the moment that happens I like you not don't just fall and stand up begin to pray and receive and reject everything that is not of God father your word says upon Mount Zion there shall be deliverance it says there shall be holiness and it said the sons of Jacob shall receive their possessions therefore I pray every spirit every altar every manipulation of darkness that is responsible for the tragedy in any man's life inside the first overflow second and third as you shout jesus like fire let it begin to land on people right now one two three I command those spirits right now right now my goodness my goodness inside outside like fire is coming upon people is coming upon people is coming upon people hallelujah the Lord is giving me a very foolish instruction just lift your right hand that's what I hear right hand my goodness you don't need to shout just lift your right hand. Leave the drums. Just lift your right hand. This, 
don't mind me let me do my stupid thing the lord is giving me an instruction i see at least up to 33 people the lord is just saying i should stretch my hands the moment that happens i'm seeing like a stone being broken these are families altars in families lord according to your word right now at the count of three all the people and families involved i stretch my hands one two three let it happen right now right now right now right now right now just keep your right hand lifted shape baba kata altars 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 right now shake it 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 in the name of the lord jesus bring them out those strange altars strange altars hallelujah lift your hands the lord is saying he is visiting fertility issues fertility issues barrenness whatever it is lift your hands at the count of three as you shout jesus anyone connected to you or anyone here under a spell of infertility at the count of three be broken one two three break 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 right now right now right now infertility there are some ladies feeling fire fire around your stomach fire around your womb fire around your womb fire around your womb is breaking is breaking is breaking is breaking is breaking shake it back at is breaking hallelujah please lift your hands the lord is speaking to me there are people here everything you touch dies in your hand lift your hands please no matter what it is if it's a relationship it dies Jakatarata, mandereto shota at the count of three let fire fall every cause of bad luck at the count of three shout jesus one two three go 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 right now those altars those altars right now everything your hand touches dies people come around to help you and they leave you it's changing right now it's changing right now it's changing right now hallelujah sisters lift your hands any stranger that visits you in dreams lift your hands speaking to you planting things the lord is giving this instruction every spirit husband just for ladies i tell you many people will be free right now at the count of three it's like fire that will fall on you lord let it fall every entity coming to oppress these people planting barrenness bad luck one two three take it take it take it take it let them go now inside and outside let them go now let them go now let them go now let them go now my dear tap that lady for me yes that lady nodding an angel is touching you 
he's bringing a miracle for you right now that's what i see i see like cold sensation coming to your head a miracle and as it's happening to her may it happen to you right now in the name of the lord jesus christ lift your hands and begin to pray over your request let it rain please pray go ahead and just prophesy and say lord this marks the end of it the bible says believe in the lord your god pray pray don't look at me pray open your mouth and pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ Father we turn go ahead and pray Lord my request is turned into a testimony I must testify by the anointing of the Holy Spirit Standing upon the eternal counsel of God, the hand of the Lord itself will bring this to pass. The burden is lifted in the name of Jesus. Are not angels ministering spirits sent for to minister to the heirs of salvation? Let the ministry of angels begin to bring to pass every single request in this place in the name of jesus we command the foundations of the earth we command the firmaments we command the waters to begin to align themselves towards the fulfillment of this request we lift every burden placed upon the shoulders of men by the anointing of god's spirit and we set these ones free in the name of jesus mighty and everlasting god standing upon your promise to us upon this altar the heavenly portals opened in this place we command a performance of the requests the desires placed here tonight in the name of jesus we decree the heavens answer speedily everyone trusting you for the fruit of the womb receive in the name of jesus promotion from on high receive in the name of jesus and end to demonic oppression it happens now in the name of jesus blind eyes open deaf ears open destinies moved forward in the name of jesus satanic burdens removed in the name of jesus we thank you lord because speedily according to the seasons of life they receive a performance in the matchless name of jesus we decree amen father hallelujah hallelujah please rise up on your feet and receive the prophecy you can I saw a spirit and, and I'm praying for the students now please listen when I was outside ministering I saw a spirit like bees released to produce massive failures in the exam that is being written in the name that is above all names I pray for everyone here the kind of performance you have never seen receive it in the name of Jesus the kind of performance I pray from the depth of my heart the kind of performance you have never seen receive it in the name of Jesus the grace for favor where you have labored and tried and it didn't work beginning from tonight step into a new dimension of favor step into a new dimension of favor every direction you have been praying and asking the lord to give you between now and next friday receive that direction receive that direction I want to pray for business people anyone in business lift your hands the strategy 
the strategy that you need to win in the name of Jesus receive it right now may it appear to you in dreams in the name of Jesus Christ everything that has died in your hands I command it to come back alive in the name of Jesus Christ now I want to pray for you father that old Baba prayed and released upon our lives the mantle of longevity 132 still alive I pray for you please receive it me too I received it from the depth of my heart Lord you know that I wanted this not for self but for the house at 70 you are still standing strong at 90 you are still moving strong until you get to 120 no devil takes your life in the name of Jesus hear me the force that immunes people from accidents comes upon your life right now the force that immunes people from terrorism and the wickedness it comes upon your life right now that spirit that kills people at the prime of their life when they labor and about to enter it takes their lives it leaves your life forever 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 hallelujah may you see your children's children to the fifth generation believe what i'm saying i've seen human beings bodily carrying this revelation you step into it in the name of jesus therefore anyone here that death is eyeing that you will not see the next miracle service or you will not see the end of this year i don't know how the plan is going on in the realm of the spirit but i avert it right now i avert it right now the same way you will live long physically everything that is good in your life lives long with you your health lives long with you your wisdom lives long with you faithful lives long with you two prayer points quickly where you have been rejected you step into a place i've experienced it all let me tell you something hallelujah i will never forget you know jimmy knows the story in 2007 i remember that time i went to collect a loan from a bank remember the story i went to collect a loan from the bank we had done everything and then when it was now time for them to give me the loan they embarrassed me i was humiliated the same people who were helping me it was as if a charm came upon them and i looked at that person and i vowed that till i die till i go to be with the lord i will not collect loan from anybody living or dead i made that determination from the depth of my heart i said lord if you cannot honor me let me die like that i pray for someone here see listen if doors are closing against you is demonic don't ever say it's because i don't know so 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 bad if if the person knew me it's a lie there is a man too the bible says everyone loved esther who looked at her like a garment you can wear it i pray that honor that brings receptivity receive it right now oh come on your amen is not loud enough receive it right now hallelujah the bible says you shall be as a delightsome land you know what a delightsome land is well desired in other words at any point you are seen you are invited i don't know who has disqualified you but i pray for you they may use your background they may use whatever let grace qualify you tonight let grace qualify you tonight koinonia i pray for you honor that you have never seen in your life from even people who can give birth to you begin to receive it strange honor 
in high places strange honor in high places in the name of jesus wave your hands and give god all the praise thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus whatever you have started listen something just came in my heart whatever you have started that ended prematurely because this what i'm there is an anointing for what i'm telling you whatever you start i don't care what it is whether it is relationship or whatever and it ended but not by god we put life back to it right now i say it again whatever you started that ended but not by god by a manipulation of darkness it jacks back to life right now in the name of jesus hallelujah give god praise my goodness i wish we had time i wish we had time hello beloved in christ we hope this message was a blessing to you i would want you to do something for us if you are new here kindly hit on that subscribe button for us and then like this video as well share to your family and friends to bless them because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.